Good evening and welcome to the Euros final between England and Italy. Who would have thought we would be saying that? Well, actually, I did. I didn't I didn't actually predict it would be England in the final. I predicted it would be England and France, not England and Italy. But it's England and Italy in the final. Absolutely huge game. Um, don't really know how to approach it, to be honest. Never been in this position before. Uh, team news is out. We've got the Paddy Power fan park there as well, which you can see that is probably as big and as crowded and as raucous as we've seen it throughout this Euros tournament. This is the last game of the Euros tournament and obviously it's the most important game of the Euros tournament for us. Um, there is team news, of course. There is an eight o'clock kickoff, of course, and there is lots and lots to discuss, of course. Um, how are you feeling? One way or another, how are you feeling? Do you feel Do you feel confident? Do you feel... And, and, that, and that works both ways as well. You know, it, it does. There'll be a lot of people very nervous about England winning this. Um, not because they want them to win it, because they want them to lose it. It's going to go both ways. Um, we are definitely... Um, I nearly said bisexual there. That's, I don't know what I'm on about there. But we're definitely... Um, we're definitely um, aware that there, there are people that don't want us to win. Um, look, I'm confident. I'm confident. I'm not as confident as I felt this afternoon because the closer you get to kick off... Uh, the, the the more uh, the more you start to think. Um, I did actually enjoy the um, I did I did enjoy the uh, the the first uh, the last few hours actually. I know people have haven't been able to wait for kick off and look. I know people who've been at London pubs since ten o'clock this morning to get a decent spot. I mean they'll be absolutely hammered unless they've been drinking water. But it's it's. It's really interesting. Knew he'd go with a back five, plays into Italy's hands, trying to get to the last 20 and hoping the subs make the difference, says Sean Turner. Yeah, let's get into the team news. So Italy, first of all, very predictable for Italy. Italy have gone with, uh, obviously, Donnarumma's in goal, um, Di Lorenzo, uh, Cialini, Benucci and Emerson as their four. Then they've got Jorginho, uh, Verratti and Barella. And then they've got Immobile, Chiesa and Insigne. They're playing a 4-3-3. It's adaptive. It's more adaptive when Spinoza, Spinozola plays, but it's not that adaptive. I don't agree with a back five in this game. But can I just say, now ain't the time for negativity. Now is the time for those lads to deliver. We've got a fantastic bench. I don't understand why he's gone with a back five, but he's got every right to do what he wants to do. Now is not the time to go, oh, he's got it wrong or anything like that before kickoff. Am I, do I like playing a back five? No. Would I have rather seen Trippier on the bench and Saka starting? Yes. Um, I'd like to have seen Henderson start in the midfield. I'd like, you know, there's a lot of things I'd like to see, but I don't man, I don't manage this team. Neither do you. Southgate does. And if we lose this game, because look, my concerns, my concerns. Would he have played Sancho in more games? Marks is M and K. I'm actually surprised he's played more than more than that. Rest in peace, Paul Mar Mariner. Watching the ESPN show on him was tough. Let's bring it home, boys. Says Sean Atwood. Yeah, rest in peace to Paul Mariner. Uh, played for England and also Ipswich legend. Um, I'm sure there'll be a moment, hopefully, in the game tonight. But, uh, Mark, how uh, how uh, would you feel if England lose it? would be the second final in the year, says Glazers out. Um, notice the touch of the nose there. Don't really have an answer to that. Um, the dangerous thing is that when you look around London and, and UK at the moment, everyone's expecting a party. And when that party doesn't happen, then, you know, I don't think anybody's thinking about that at the moment. But it's not an arrogance. It's not a... It's not a lack of respect. I think the reason everyone's excited and expecting a party is because they know how difficult this game is. 38 games. From a Welsh lad, says Reese Connor, good luck and hope you win. Thank you very much. That's very humble of you to do that. Um, it's, it's 38 games unbeaten for Italy. They're a very good side. I don't, for one minute, think that this is going to be easy. But I do think we will win. And if we don't win... Um, it's a new disappointment to get used to. God, we've had disappointments in my lifetime. It can happen again. So I'm not going to pretend that we can't win, but I think you've got to be positive. My concerns about what Southgate's done today, and I'm sure he spent a lot of time thinking about it, and apparently Italy have been um, unbeaten for 38 games. I read something today that Southgate's changed his team over 30 times in the last 30 games. So he's never picked the same team twice, apparently. Oh, that can't be right, but he does change his team a lot. I What I worry about tonight is that they play with the front three. They play Chiesa, Immobile and Insigne. We ain't playing a 3-4-3. Three, three. Now, people have said on... You know, when I tweeted about it earlier, people are like, three, three at the back and five at the back at the same thing. They're not the same thing. They're not the same thing. Because at the end of the day, you're either playing a back five or a back three. Now, if you're playing a back three 
then you're going to tell Maguire to look after Chiesa, you're going to tell Stones to look after Immobile, and you're going to have to tell Walker to look after Insigne. We ain't going to do that. We're going to tell Shaw to look after Chiesa, and we're going to tell Trippier to look after Insigne, and we're going to leave Walker, Stones, and Maguire to deal with one striker, Immobile. Now, you could say that, well, we defend with a five and we attack with a three. Well, yeah. Or we might defend as a four and send Luke Shaw forwards, and we might do it with Trippier. There's lots and lots of different things we can do. My major concern is that how are we going to score goals? How are we going to attack? Are we inviting the Italians onto us? That was that's that feels like what we're going to do. And as you know, as a United fan, as a fan of football, as an English fan, I don't really like the idea in a in a Euros final where we've got the vast majority of the crowd behind us that we play pragmatic football. I don't like that. So that's a fear. My other fear is that Mason Mount playing as a right-sided player isn't fast, and I think Harry Kane's not fast. So I, I actually thought if we were going to play a back five, the front three would be two quick players with Kane. Mount's not quick. So I do think that we're going to be very lopsided with the ball over the top to Sterling. So look, I hope it's going to work. I really rate Mason Mount. Um, that, there's not The trouble is there's not a lot of creativity in that team. You look at that England team, there's not a lot of creativity. We've got five defenders. And look, Luke Shaw's been fantastic. He will give us something down that left-hand side. Um... But really, it's down to Sterling and Mount to create because Phillips and Rice ain't going to do that job. So I, if we're going to play a back five, I wish we'd played Henderson in the midfield. But I'm not in charge. Southgate's in charge. And you've got to give him his you've got to give him his opportunity to do what he wants to do. And he's done it. And I don't think a lot of us agree with what he's done. But I think most of us are like, well, you know what? He's earned the right to do it. If we lose and it's because we get overwhelmed and we don't create anything, then everyone will go, it's because he played a back five. He's a prat. But... How big a prat is he? He's got us to a final. So, yes, we've been the home team for most of these games. We've only played away from Wembley once, and I heard Chiellini talking about that. But what we do have is five substitutions, and what we do have is an opportunity to go and use those five substitutions and change the formation. So the last half an hour, 20 minutes could be key. This could be a penalties game. This could easily be a nil-nil. I don't think Italy are going to run away with this game. I don't think Italy are going to win this game three or four nil even 2-0. I think this game's always going to be there for each team. Whoever scores first, the other team have got to score. And I think that the other team are capable of scoring. I can see extra time. I don't think either team will get away. I think it could be 0-0 at 90 minutes. It could be 1-1. It could be 1-0 for 80 minutes and the other team equalise. You know, there's, I don't see this game being particularly lopsided. They're going to like uh, AMs flanked by Shaw and Trippier, says Anarud Chendra. Trippier and Luke Shaw have got to be given the license to get forward. But if we do that, we've got to be defensively disciplined. I also don't like... Look, I'll bring in my Manchester United uh, experience here. I don't like it when Oli changes things. Because I'm like, how long have we... We've played 4-2-3-1 for the last two games. We're now going back to 5-3-2. And playing 5-3-2 or 3-4-3 against Italy is very different to playing it against Germany. So I don't. I, I just don't think you need to play a back five against Italy. But we're doing it... Let's see what happens. And if we, if Darren Morgan says it's diving home, I hope it is. I ain't bothered. I'm not bothered at all. I think I think the referee tonight. I don't know where he's from. Um, is it massively important to me? Not really. Um, but I just hope that we can get progressive up the pitch. Because another thing I would say as well is that Harry Kane likes to come deep. Well, if you've got a back five, two holding midfielders, and then Harry Kane's coming deep as well. Where are we going to hurt that defence? But as we saw with Spain, Spain didn't play with a number nine. They played with a false nine and they dominated the ball and Chiellini and Benucci became passengers. If we're going to do something like that, if there's a master plan here, great. And that's why I wouldn't be too critical of the back five. It's disappointing because it's not what we want. But what we want isn't always what's best for England. And Southgate might have a master plan that works. Are you massively bothered if England win a, win a corner and Harry Maguire scores and then we just keep a clean sheet? That's Southgate, the manager. Pep Guardiola wants to go and win it 3 or 4 nil. Gareth Southgate wants to win it one nil. You still end up with a win. And I think tonight at 10 o'clock, would you rather be going into extra time after a 3-3 thriller? Or would you rather be winning the Euros with a one nil ball? You know, I, I know what I would want. I, I want to win. We don't concede many goals. There is a big unknown in this game. And the big unknown in this game is Italy. Italy are the big unknown. Italy are the team that have been very up and down in this tournament. They've been up and down like a yo-yo. They've been up and down like 
a bungee jumper. They they have. They we don't know what to expect, and I think that that is really really interesting because how they approach this game. Um, Oh, I don't know why. I don't know. Sorry, sorry. Someone was just telling me. I, th I thought kickoff had been delayed then until uh, half past eight, but I'm reading it wrong. But yeah, we don't know how Italy are going to approach this game. Turkey, they were fantastic. Um, Switzerland, they were okay. Um, Wales, it was their B team. Austria, Austria, they were a little bit lucky. Um, Belgium, I thought they played very, very well. Spain. You know, at times they're a bit lucky in that. But you just don't know what you're going to get in the final. You don't know what you're going to get with Italy in the final. They, they, they might produce something absolutely elite. And at the end of the day, if Italy turned up and won this game 3-0, I would be disappointed. But I think if that happened, you'd be sat there with 10 minutes to go and you'd just say it's not meant to be. What I really don't want to happen tonight, and I think what everybody else doesn't want to happen as well is, I really don't want to see England lose this game on penalties. I don't want to be a victim. I think England fans, are, and uh, we're, we're fed up of being a victim. We don't want to be that unlucky victim. I want to be the winner tonight. And I think if we can avoid, I mean, pen, can you imagine a penalty shootout at Wembley for the Euros? I mean, the pressure on that, I think Italy become the favourites because the pressure on us would be unbelievable because of past not winning it, because of past penalty shoots outs. I think for Italy it would be it would be nervy, but you'd feel that you're the underdog anyway. It's a bit like Rocky in uh, Moscow and Rocky in Rocky Four, isn't it? You know the crowd's against you anyway. That can that can inspire you. So yeah, I'm, I I just want I want the game to be done in ninety minutes. I don't really want extra time. I think you want you want a conclusive result because even into extra time you like saying well it was a draw and then it's about who can you know hold their nerve. So. I want to see a result in 90 minutes. I think we will see a result in 90 minutes. And I think it will be an English result. I do. I think we'll get it done in 90 minutes. I do. I really, really do. Um, but what do I know? What do I know? Uh, please share the video, by the way. If you're watching, you can click the share button and do that. And subscribe, bottom right hand corner. Um, we're probably going to get a lot of people joining us at different points today. There'll be people who will be wanting to see England win, like I said. There'll be people tuning in to see what I react like if England are losing as well. But those are the rules. That is the fan park, the Paddy Park, sorry, in London town. As you can see, it's vibrant. That's probably the most vibrant we've ever seen it. Very vibrant. Kickoff has not been delayed. So first, first things first, it's not been delayed, which is great to hear. Team news is out. England's team is uh, Pickford. Trippier, Walker, Stones, Maguire, Shaw. So he's gone back to the back five. Rice and Phillips. And he's then gone for Mount and Sterling and Harry Kane uh, in the side there. Thanks everyone who's tuning in on the Paddy Power channel as well. Please do subscribe if you're on there. They're getting close to 54,000 subscribers. If you're on the That's Football channel, I've dropped the link in the video description. It takes a few seconds. Please click and subscribe the YouTube channel of Paddy Power, which is the link in the video description, because they've been providing us with this Paddy Park uh, stream from London for all the England games, which has just provided us with a something a little bit different, which I've really, really enjoyed. Uh, that's right near the Shard. We've had some fantastic games. Look at him. He's got the chips in. Where's mine? Give us some chips, mate. Hey, there's a, that jug on the end. I'll have it. If no one's going to have it, I'll have it. But he's got his flag on. Is it the, everyone's just so excited. Everyone's so pumped up. You've got to pump it up. You've got to pump it up. You've got to be excited. That's the way to be. Um, Mark, would not... Uh, Mark, why would you not watch it with your family? Says Peter. I've been chatting with my family for the last hour. We've got friends round, so don't you worry about that. I mean, if you're going to be one of those twats who start saying, why aren't you doing this? Why aren't you doing that? Why don't you go and speak to all the other channels that are doing watch-alongs then? You know, you're being a smug twat. This is what I'm doing. I've got a party. Everything's set. Everything's ready. Stop trying to bring the mood down with silly little bitchy comments. I know this is off topic, but is there a United stand show tonight? God, no. God, no. Who gives a shit about United's transfer news at the moment? Nobody. Nobody. 
Um, don't like the formation, says Philip Dan van der Meer. Uh, English, uh, well, it's funny, we went out for uh, lunch today. Um, it's one of, it's my oldest daughter's birthday weekend. And she was like, can we go to Carluccio's? I said, you can forget it. I'm not going to an Italian restaurant today. Not because I've got anything wrong. I've got nothing against Italian uh, food. I absolutely love a good lasagna. I absolutely love it. But as I said before, I mean, my real, it's my real surname is Italian. So I, I, um, I have a connection with Italy, even though it's not by blood. Um, so I like Italy. If this was any other team, I would want Italy to win. But today, I'm not eating Dolmio. I'm not having any Peroni. I'm not going to Carluccio's. I don't want any Just For Men on my hair today. You know, I don't, I'm, not, I'm not watching any Rocky films. I'm not watching Sylvester Stallone, Rambo, forget it. Not because I don't like Italy, but because I just think it's a... I think it's um, a superstition. I feel if I, had a, if I had a lasagna today with some Dolmio sauce on it, I'd feel I'd contributed to Italy's win if they win. Look, I was a couple of minutes late today because I'm so superstitious. Um, in the bathroom when I was getting ready and doing my hair, I knocked over my gel. And when I was just about to go live, I was like, that, that never gets knocked over. So I had to go back upstairs and pick the gel up. I don't know whether anyone gets superstitious like that, but I've got to, you know, any little thing gets into my head. You know, I've got a load of wash and go bottles down by my uh, table. And as I walked past, I knocked a couple over. I was going to go live and then I went, no, you know, I've got to pick them up. Everything must be right. Everything has to be right. Uh, who will die first, says uh, James Cutney. Oh, who knows? I'm happy with the line lineup and formation. Always our defence to sort out Italy's most dangerous players and our attackers can sort an out an ageing defence, says Dave on a stick. Uh, yeah, please do subscribe, by the way, bottom right-hand corner. And please share the video. Let's see if we can get 5,000 likes before kickoff. You can click the share button and you can share it on Twitter and Facebook. Um, let's come back to here for the moment. So we've got the trophy. First time we've had a trophy on the uh, on the um, desk as well. So close you can almost touch it. So close you can almost kiss it. Mm. But will England be kissing it? I want that deleted. I'll tell you what, Drawty, I want that deleted if Italy win. I don't want to look at it. Get rid of it. Um, but Mark, thank you for making all the Euro games more exciting. Well, look. Amazing, absolutely amazing community over the Euros. We've actually just got to take a second or two to say thanks to Joe, thanks to Beth, thanks to Kev, thanks to Jay, thanks to Jordan, thanks to Craig, thanks to Ryan, thanks to Matt, thanks to Jorty, thanks to everybody who's been involved because we've actually done a watch along for every single game of the Euros. And thanks to all of you more than anything for tuning in and being part of uh, this channel, That's Football. So please subscribe, bottom right hand corner. Lots to come next season. Lots of Premier League, Champions League, international games to do watch-alongs for. Um, but yeah, what an achievement to do every single game uh, as a Euros watch-along. It's been, it's been, a, it's been, it's gone fast. It's gone fast. Um, how are your nerves, Mark? Night of a lifetime ahead, says Owen Stanley. Look, yes, yes. But we've got before we get to that point, we've got to win. Um, I, I've been in this. I think the closest thing that comes to this, and it eclipses it, if I'm honest, the night that uh, United won the um, the treble in the new Camp, uh, Solskjaer has won it. That night will never be beaten. But I always tell this story, and no, loads of people be bored about it, but I was on a beach in Malahide in Ireland at three o'clock in the morning with a cigar and a whiskey, and I never wanted to go to bed. And I said, these are the moments you've got to remember. You've got to remember it, and you've got to soak it up, and you've got to enjoy it, because you just don't know when it's going to happen again. 55 years since England won the World Cup. 25 years since Euro 96. With it, supporting England, it doesn't come around very often. It really doesn't. And if we do win it, it is a moment to... It's a life moment if you love football because it might not happen again for another 55 years. So, you you know, but we, but it, but it's not a night to mem remember if we lose. It, it, you will remember it, but it's not a moment... We, you won't look back on it with pride. I've lost cup finals before uh, with United and you don't think, oh, I'm really proud of the lads to get there. When I think of United losing to Barcelona a couple of times... I don't think, oh, yeah, well, at least we, we did well to get there. I've never thought that because United taught me that it's about winning. And I think Mancini said the same thing. I won't look back. On, unfortunately, the English mentality is sometimes to celebrate losing. My, it's not my mentality. So, yeah, it could be a night to remember. But we've got to go and win it. Argentina and Messi won yesterday. If it's England today, it'll be a great week for football, says Shantam. Uh, why are we not starting Henderson? P.S. Carluccio has shut down anyway. It's not in not, not in Solihull, Mario. And playing back five, you are very dependent that your wing-backs are good in the offensive. Good luck, Mark, says Per Eric Klassen. Well, I'm not, I've got no worries about Luke Shaw. Absolutely no worries about Luke Shaw. But um, 
I do have worries about Trippier and whether he can get forward. Uh, somebody said, can you twerk? I'll do anything to make us win, but I can't do it, unfortunately. That was the worst twerk you'll ever see. That was twat, not twerk. Uh, please show the match. Yep, you're, you're stuck in 2015. That's not watch along, what watch, watch alongs do. England are coming home without the trophy. This is Harry G. And uh, I haven't got any hair to do the Foden, mate. I went and painted my head instead. I tweeted you. Could you have a look? Would make my day. This is Jordan White. I need to know what you tweet. I can't. I won't know it unless you give us your uh, at, mate. Because there'll be so many people tweeting me with things like, Goldbridge is a nonce, you're a prat, it's coming home. I just won't find the tweet. I can feel it in the air tonight. Oh, Lord, it's coming home, says Yaz. And look, I appreciate there's a lot of people out there that will be wanting England to lose. Um, I suppose at the end of the day, that's football is for everybody. So these words I have to say, even though I don't mean... One way or another, you're going to witness something. I appreciate not everyone wants, wants England to win. Um, but um, will they boo the Italian national anthem? Oh, of course we will. The more you tell people not to do something, the more they do it. English fans are going to boo it. I don't agree with it, but uh, they will do it. Um, 20 minutes to destiny. Well, two hours and 20 minutes. Uh, how do you think the game will go? I think the game will be pretty boring. But it won't be boring because it's a final. But in relation to the spectacle of a game of football, I don't think this is going to be a vintage game of football. We're playing Italy. Breaking news! We're playing Italy. We're playing Italy with a back five. And they, you know, with, there is no way in, in, a, in the world we're going to play Pep style football, you know, and what I mean by that is attractive football. How are we going to play attractive football with five defenders and two holding midfielders? We just don't have the players on the pitch to play fluid, attacking, exciting football. So it's not going to be that sort of game. I think set pieces. I think there'll be a lot of uh, stops and restarts. Um, I think defence will be a, will will be what this game is about. Um, this isn't. You know, this isn't Liverpool against Man City going for it. This is very much um, in footballing, in, in club football terms, this is Mourinho's Inter against Mourinho's Chelsea. You know, this is, this is that's that's what it is. It's uh, Simeone, it's Atletico Madrid against Mourinho. You know, that's what it is. Um, and at the end, if we've won, does it really matter? Mark, is it bad? I've ordered a Papa John's pizza whilst watching the game. Thank you for everything you do. P.S. It's freaking coming home, baby. It's the son. And hi, Mark. Finally, we're here. Come on, England. Support from South Africa. Thanks for all the watch-alongs. You guys have been amazing to watch. Big up, Morn Jacobs. Thanks for the super chat there. City fan here, Mark. Why doesn't Rashford get a chance, says Khaled Abraham. And please, Sean Dyke, reaction on it's coming home, says Anna Rudd. I'll have to leave that till the second half because I don't want to be losing my voice. It takes a lot out of me. I can do Harry Bain, who is actually Bane from Batman. Hello, I'm Harry Bane. I'm not very happy with the five at the back, but Mancini is a bit up his own arse. I'm going to go 2-1 to England, because I'm Harry Bane, and I'm going to score two goals. And then I'm going to be the, cho the golden boot winner. And then I'm going to kick the fuck out of Batman. And then I'm going to smack the fuck out of the Joker. Because I'm Harry Bane. Um, so, yeah, I can do Harry Bane because that's quite easy. Um, which is Bane from Batman, if you don't know. Um, why is Rashford not playing? Because he's not good enough. He's not good enough. And that pains me to say it as a United fan because he, this tournament, Marcus Rashford has just not been in contention. And I think he's not in contention for the problems he's had with England as well is the problem that he's having with Manchester United. At Manchester United, Rashford starts because we don't really have anybody else. At in with England, you've got Sterling, you've got Mount, you've got Sancho, you've got Saka, you've got Grealish, uh, you've got Foden. You've got players who are fitter and in better form than Rashford. Rashford's problem is fitness. He's quite rightly, for, for his own from his own position, are you going to say I'm not going to go to the Euros when you want to be part of something? But Marcus Rashford fit and playing well should be getting in that England team. But he's just not fit and therefore he's not playing well. So there's no drama about Marcus Rashford. He just isn't good enough at the moment. That's the best Mr. Bean impression I've ever heard, says Michael Thackeray. Thanks. 
And uh, Zane's in the house. He says, come on, England. Saka to get the winner. And Southgate to show Oli how not to bottle finals. Zane, why are you making about Man United? I don't know. Obviously, you're, you're just very, very insecure. Watching this in a beer garden in Dublin and hoping the English bring it home, says Stephen Somerville, Irish rugby. Uh, and always remember where it was for this uh, special occasion. Uh, so Stephen, thank you very much for the super chats there. Um, why is Grealish not starting, says Demi. Well, why is Grealish not starting? Why is Saka not starting? Uh, Foden's not even on the bench, by the way. That's that's quite big news. No place for Chilwell, no way, no place for Ben White, and no place for Phil Foden. They all miss out. Now, Phil, Phil Foden's only missing out because he picked up a knock in training. So, Phil Foden, not an option tonight, which is a shame, really, because um, I thought he played well when he came on the other day. So, I'm disappointed for Foden. But uh, what are your thoughts on Messi winning in a cup, says Pox. Uh, well done to Messi, by the way. I actually in my ignorance and thought I actually thought he'd won a Copa America with Argentina before but obviously he hadn't so you know it would have been a travesty if he didn't win a major international trophy with Argentina you know one of the world's best ever players so well done on that sense um but yeah I mean look why is Grealish not playing why is Saka not playing why is Sancho not playing because we're managed by a coach that plays football in a way where defense is more important than attack we spoke about this before we came into the tournament. We've got a manager who, who is an ex-defender who likes to play defensive football, um, but we've got a team that's got so much attacking talent. At the end of the day, it would be... Imagine if we, you know, imagine if we had six or seven world-class or top-class centre-backs. We wouldn't be moaning because we'd be going, well, you've got to play a back five because we've got so many good centre-backs. The problem is Southgate's a defensive coach, we're not well blessed with centre backs, but we do play a back five, and then that means you play one less attacker, and we are lopsided with lots of good attackers. So you end up with a bench that actually looks better than the starting lineup in some ways. But look, it's the way Southgate wants to do it. Let's hope it's going to work. Uh, ben Marshall says, "Have you seen fans breaking through security stations and getting into Wembley? Also trashing Leicester Square. Well, it's not going to affect the kickoff uh, of the game, which is great. Um, that's coming in from." Uh, I'm working, so thanks for doing the show, says Bullyheads. No worries, mate. People have got to work, haven't they? Um, ben Marshall, yeah, I mean, there was a little bit of a worry that the game might get uh, pushed back, but I don't think it's as big a, an issue as what we saw at Old Trafford a few weeks ago. Um, no spectacles today, says Sub. I will be putting them on at some point, actually. I have got them there. I've just, in fact, they need a... Let's get them clean. It's not even good for my eyes to spend this long reading the chat, so I should actually have these on. You make, you know, it's a sensible thing to put them on. Um, Arsenal fans are so sad because they wanted to see their star player Ben White playing. This is Jay. Well, Saka should have started. He should have started, really. But, you know. Um, Messi will become the first player to win a Ballon d'Or in three different decades. Tens, tw tens and twenties. Well, I don't think he should win the Ballon d'Or, Goraf. I think Lewandowski should win it. Uh, Sancho will do a medical next week. Daniel, yes. Um, apparently, there's going to be a big massive reveal for Sancho at United as well. Uh, are you drunk, says Safe? No, I have got a little drink on the go and I've had a couple already. I've had a few more, more than a couple, but I'm all right. It's hard to be absolutely, I think it's hard to get smashed at a time like this because your brain's so focused and nervous. Mark, will we see the Gaza haircut? If we win and GS, those plans are in place. Do you think if Sterling gets the winners, the newspapers will finally shut up criticising him, saying, well, they should have stopped that a long time ago before as well. Definitely should have done. Uh, please smash a like on the video. We're trying to get up to 3,000 likes before kickoff. We're 12 minutes away from the start of this game before my calves start going like that all the time. Um, and make sure you subscribe, bottom right-hand corner. Big shout out to Paddy Park for giving us this again as well, as you can see. Um, I've got... Uh, We've, that's in London Town, the Paddy Park near the Shard, and uh, look at this. It's a different mentality. We've been watching the, this for a long time uh, on every England game because Paddy Power have provided it for us. Um, I've never seen it quite like this. You know, it, the excitement around England at the moment is everywhere. In every city, in every town, people are excited, sitting down, standing up, ready to go. Look, she's dancing behind my head. What's she going? Where's she going now? Oh, I, thought, I actually thought she was going to sit on his lap. But um, I shouldn't sound so excited. But proper atmosphere there today, says Junior. Uh, I've got a bad feeling, says Kizzy. Uh, look, so he's dancing now. Um, but the um, Uzar's bricking it. Look, some people will think, some people are going to be hyper confident. Some people are going to be nervous. Okay, they may standing up. He's standing up. 
he knows he's on camera. They know they're on camera. They're having a great time, look. Um, some people will be nervous. Some people will be excited. Some people will be confident. Oh, God, look at the final ceremony here as well. There's a big... That, the trophy's not that big in real life. If you're looking at the TV screens, that's not the actual trophy. I mean, there ain't no way um, Harry Kane's been able to lift that. He'd have to become Bane to do that. Because he'd need super strength. Uh, there's Prince William looking very uh, excited. That's a big trophy, that is. I'm nervous, says Mr. Barney. Yeah, stuff, Rome, it's coming home, says Sean Davis. What am I watching it on? I think I've got it on BBC, but for me it doesn't make any difference because I don't listen to the... I don't listen to it anyway. I don't listen to the commentary. Um, somebody was on about it today. I think the commentary options are t terrible. Is it Genus and Mowbray and then Matterface and Dixon? That's poor, that is, really. Uh, Matt G says, I'm quietly confident today, Mark. Proud of the boys. Either way, it's coming home, says Matt G. Thank you very much. And are you nervous? I won't. I don't get nervous. Well, if you watch the Denmark watch along, I don't actually get nervous until the game kicks off. Um because it's all elementary at the moment. What's the team five at the back, says Jack Brown. So the team is Pickford, Trippier, Walker, Stones, Maguire, Shaw, Phillips, Rice, Mount, Sterling, Kane. Yeah, there's not enough attackers on the pitch for me, but we do have a bench. That's what the bench is for. So, yeah. Um, so that will be cool as a cucumber. Uh, it's coming home. Who's everyone supporting anyway? Get in the chat. Are you going England or Italy? Because I know there'll be people who want England to lose. Of course there will. That's just the way football works. That's the way it should work. There should be people who don't want that to happen as well. So, you know, I've not got no problems with that. Uh, it wasn't Germany's formation also a back five. They were... Um, substitutes will be key in this game, Mark says Advath Warrior. And wasn't... Well, yeah, the, the subs in the second half are going to be massively important. Massively important. And let's not forget, Italy's bench is good as well. Italy have got a good bench. Matteo says Forza Italia. Italy have got Bellotti. They've got um, Bernardeschi. They've got Berardi. They've got Locatelli. Pessina, uh, or Pessini his name is. Uh, they've, got, they've got really good quality on their bench, um, Italy. So, yeah, very, 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 very interested to see... Um, watching over can you turn that down i can hear it i can't have that can't have any of that thanks bloody eastenders mark thank you for doing this for us we know how much you would have loved to be there at, at a beer garden says football school hey mate i'll get i'll get my drinking done afterwards i'm not bothered about that you know it's absolutely fine now that's the real trophy being brought out that is you can lift that one i don't know he thinks he's won it what's he doing who do you play for you're not you know you don't play for italy or england He's walking around like he's won it. That's what I'd do. <laughs> um, come on, lads, says Bet Davis, Red Devils. Uh, I'm going on a diet, so I prefer bland beans instead of pasta tonight, says Angie S. And pasta boys, you're going home. Southgate has proved me wrong so far. Hopefully he can prove us again. And I think that's where my confidence comes from, Richard Dawson, to be honest with you. Um... My confidence comes from the fact that this is not England of old. This is not the England that goes out, to, well, goes out quite literally, but this is, that, so that's a, that's a nice change. But this is not the England of old that goes out, plays good football and then gets knocked out. I don't really think we have played that good of football in this tournament, but efficient, competent, not conceding goals. Yes, yes. Oh yeah, and I'll, I'll tell you what, let's have another yes. So is that like Germany? Yes, it is, Mark. Yes, it is. Um, is that like teams that win tour tournaments like Portugal? Pragmatic, good defence and, you know, win games? Yes, it is. Have another tick. So it's a, it's a new concept. It could be a new era for England. A new era capped off by winning a trophy. And look, haters are going to hate. Haters are going to hate. That's the way it's going to be. But 90 minutes. Will they sink or swim? The players come out. I think Italy are going to be very experienced. Of course they are. 
Um, Prince Andrew enjoying watching the game next to George, uh, says Football Knowledge. Uh, Italy came to Rome in the Lions' den. Come on, England, says Kurt Hughes. Southgate has proved me wrong. We've done that from Richard Dawson as well. Thanks for all the super chats. Uh, please subscribe, by the way, bottom right-hand corner. And uh, share the video. Please share the video. That would be fantastic. You can share it on Twitter and Facebook. I hope you're all excited. I hope you're all ready. Um, this is it. This is it. This is where the story... This is where the story ends. Or is it where the story begins? One way or another. And it might not be 90 minutes. It could well be... It could well be... I'm not doing, I'm not doing David Attenborough. It could well be another hour after 10 o'clock. We could see extra time. We could see penalties. But we don't want to see that. We want to see an England victory in 90 minutes. It's raining, which is interesting. I think it was raining in 66 as well. So... Look, let's not st start looking for stuff like that. Uh, so nervous for this. Come on, England. Bring it home, says Riley Board. Um, booing the national anthem is what Prats do. Yeah. Absolute twats. Disrespectful. Nobeds. Embarrassments to my nation. You are scum. You're absolute scum. I don't like it. I hate it. I apologise for it. And I think a lot of people are like-minded like that. Why would you boo and actually motivate the opposition in a final. For what what good does it do to boo the national anthem of the opposition? It's disgusting, it makes me sick, it makes me embarrassed. I apologize for it. Most English fans would never do that. Wankers, wankers is the word. It's just a poor, I just don't get it. Absolutely don't get it. All you're doing is hyping Italy up. I don't get it, I don't like it, and it's nothing to do with you know, I just don't, I don't understand why people do it. I don't understand why people do it. It's idiotic. Absolutely idiotic. It's disrespectful. It's in bad taste. It's embarrassing. It sheds us in a bad light. It shows us to be arrogant. It's disgraceful. And, you know, it makes me, I mean, look, look at Benucci and that. They're fired up. It's just, it's just the typical mentality of, of, of us. It's like those, it's like those English people who go on holiday and don't put any sun cream on. And by, you know, 12 o'clock, they've got a big red back. And a big red head where they're sunburnt. They don't learn. They don't learn. Why would you boo a team's national anthem and give them even more motivation? You know, it's just madness. Absolute madness. As a neutral in this clash of two great teams, I'm looking forward to a great game of football. I hope England can turn up another level, says Anton. Um, they're probably booing because they're pissed, says MNK Group. Well, it's just, it's just, you know what it is? It's mob mentality. It's mob mentality and we don't need to do it. So, you know, don't do it. Um, but the Italians looked very passionate. A, you know what? There's a lot of pressure. A lot of pressure. Feed the pressure. Come play the game, I'll test you. I want to see leaders on that pitch tonight. I want to see the mentality of kings. Because boy, oh boy, if they win this, they go down as legends of the English game. Not, not on a level of Sir Jeff first or Bobby Charlton. So Bobby Charlton, Bobby Moore, everyone like that. They don't go on that. They don't go on that plinth because that's for a World Cup. But the World Cup's coming up in 18 months. And um, let's do it. Let's do it. Uh, 17,000 watching. Make sure you smash a like on the video. Can we get 5,000 before kickoff? And subscribe, bottom right-hand corner. We're on the road to half a million on this channel. So please subscribe and get involved. Everybody is welcome. And can I just say to the 17,000 people on That's Football, I've dropped a link in the video description for Paddy Power. If you could just click that and subscribe to their channel because they have provided us with the fan park, uh, the Paddy Park in London throughout this tournament, which has added uh, an aspect to the, to the watch-alongs, which we've really enjoyed. So big shout out for them for doing that. Look at that buzzing crowd. They're absolutely, there's a selfie, look. They're having a selfie. Um, he, he's, he's got an, he's bummed it at the back. Look at me. He's, he's the life and soul of the party. Uh, the Pratt, I always call them. But there we go. Um, lots of excitement. Lots of fans there watching. Big shout out to Paddy Park for that. Back into here though. This is where it's all going to happen. We've got the trophy. We've got the crew. Score predictions is M&K Group. Get your score predictions in the chat. Yes, yes, yes. Um... Let's, uh, let's, well, what are you going to go with? What's your score prediction, everybody? I'm going to go, I think it'll be 2-1 or 2-0 in normal time. Um, yeah, I, I don't see, um, I don't, I, I'm going to stay confident. I'm going to stay confident. I don't think it's going to be a cracker. 
I don't think it's going to be a cracker, but I do think that we're going to win it in normal time. Um, so I'm going to go. I'm going to go. I'm going to go with that. I'm not going to change my mind. I'm going to stay with an England win. Nerves are big though. And look, the ball's coming in the cart uh, from the Hobbit. They're, they're delivering that. But um, yeah, I'm going to go with that. Confidence is a preference to the habitual Boyer. Was what is known as part life. Yeah. Man United. What I'm thinking of as well, in a selfish way, Luke Shaw, Harry Maguire, can they come back as, as tro trophy winners? You know, same if you're a Chelsea fan, if you're a Spurs fan, although Harry Kane's probably going to leave you, to be honest, so that's irrelevant. Um, those These things are going to be really, really important. Um, but how many of those players on that pitch have won things? Mason Mount's won th something. Saka hasn't. Maybe that's what Southgate's thinking. Picking somebody like uh, Mount, who's won a Champions League recently, could be a big thing. Picking Sterling, who's won a Premier League, um, you know, these players can be massively important in a game like this tonight. So we're about to kick off. Get ready. We're off. This is it. This is it, people. There's no turning back. There's no talk. This is it. This is it. Hey, Mark, win or lose, does the England team have a good chance at the World Cup, says Midnight Man? Well, yeah, of course they've got a chance at the World Cup. I don't, I don't, think, um, don't think anyone can dispute that. Of course they've got a chance in the World Cup. Let's see how England start. I think it's so important to see how England start in this game. Can we get a bit of a tempo? I think we'll see a very similar game to Denmark. Don't worry, my calves are going like that already under the table. I'm on my tiptoes, just going like that. So you'll see my body. Uh, the timer has started, by the way. I just, I've just not put it on the screen. There you go. You've got to pump it up. Don't stop. Believe. No, not singing. Let's just calm down. What's the matter, you? Why are you looking so sad? It's a so, it's a so, so bad. It's a nicer place. Nice and crispy place. Fill up your... Oh, here we go. Chill out. Harry Maguire's just given a corner away in the first minute for nothing. For nothing. He's just given him a freebie. Car this is not what Southgate looks to the sky. You don't want silly messing around like that at the back. He's just passed it. Simple pass to Pickford. He's given him a free corner here. Might not be a bad thing. Deal with the corner, switch on. Sometimes people think, oh, it's a bad start, it's a bad start. But actually, Harry Maguire goes and wins this header now. Get a bit of confidence, don't make that mistake again. Insigne with the cross and Maguire does clear it away, you see. Sterling in behind Mount, needs a bit of help, finds Shaw. Good play by Luke. Oh, lovely by Luke Shaw into Harry Kane. This is good. Pat, look at Trippier. Lovely ball out to Trippier. Yep, yep, yep. I like it. Overlapping run of Phillips. Wait. Put the cross in now, Trips. Back post. Go. Yes! Luke Shaw makes it 1-0 to England. Shaw, Shaw, Shaw in the final of the Euros. Luke Shaw. Get in. I told you. Sit down, haters. Sit down. United fans who don't like him. England fans who don't like him. Shawberto Carlos. What you got? What you got? What you got? What a goal. Trippier with the cross. And I tell you what, we all got it wrong because it's the right wing back on the attack and it's the left wing back on the attack in the mud. I'm swimming in the mud. I'm swimming in the Southgate mud. We don't want a back five. We don't like a back five. We've just seen what a back five can do. We've just seen what a back five can do. Oh, what a start. What a goal. What a goal. Trippier with the cross. Luke Shaw on the volley. Tekkers. Oh, brap, 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 brap. That is sweet. That is sweet. Look at the Tekkers on this. On the half volley as well. Even better. <sighs> Take a breath. Take a breath. England 1-0 up. Get in. Get in. Get in. Always loved Shaw. Always knew Shaw was world class. What a what a goal. What a goal. What a goal. And what a start. A dream start. And that all comes from... What did I say? That all comes from the England mistake by Maguire, who then wins the corner and we break on them. It's almost part of the plan. England are 1-0 up here already in the first minute. And I tell you what, if you like football, we love football. But if you like football, that is a dream start for any game. An early goal in any game is fantastic. Oh, I need to take a breath. I'm going to hyperventilate. I'm hot. I'm hot. Oh, 
Oh my god. That what, Luke Shaw in the final as well. I can't I just can't be I can't be dealing with this. Someone wake me up. Wake me up, I'm dreaming. Oh, it's absolutely brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. Jonathan Manson says bad cold tending agreed. Luke Shaw. If he wasn't having a madness season as it is, he's just scored a goal in front of the world on a half volley. Delightful cross by Trippier. But Luke Shaw, you know what? I'm just going to have a minute on this. I've been saying Luke Shaw is fantastic for a very long time. I've been told it's for this reason that I like him. That reason. He's shit. He's fat. His positional sense is no good. Shut up and get on board. That guy is world class. He is player of the tournament for me. Player of the tournament. I don't think anyone can touch him. Not now. I don't know whether England win or lose. He is just on a different level. He's absolutely magnificent. We are looking at one of the world's best left backs, and the season he's had, oh, unbelievable. But it's not. It's not. People want to say with Luke Shaw that it's a blip. He's what? How old's Luke Shaw now? Is he 25? This has been progression. If you've got eyes and you're a United fan, this is this is a result of you know this just doesn't happen like that. One season, you're not bloody Scott McTominay, and then the next one, you're, you're bloody Kante. This, this, ha this is progression. You've got to see the player in him. You've got to see this player over the last four years. Since that injury, I've seen it. Many United fans have seen it. He's got the raw attributes, and what he's got better and better and better. He's not gone from shit to good. That's not how it works. He's got the attributes, and I love it. I absolutely love it, because what I value more than anything is non-United fans, England fans, saying, oh, Luke Shaw is just unbelievable. That appreciation, magnificent. But now we've got a game on our hands. Now we've got to go to work. This is where it's got to go. Well, my local Welsh pub in silence as I speak, says 58. <laughs> yeah, Luke Shaw, best left back in the world, no question, says truly all. But look, whether he's the best or not, he's in the conversation, isn't he? And we know that there are some fantastic left backs out there. Mourinho in the mud, says Owen Stanley. Mark, I'm an, Indian fan. I'm an England fan from India. It's been 20 years and I'm supporting England and Manchester United. Please, good heavens, make England win the Euros. We've got a long way to go, Yag. We've got a long way to go. But we are currently 1-0 up. And, you know, maybe we're going to get a good game. Oh, shut up, ref. Kiss on my ass. He's tackled the ball. Swivel on it. That is not a foul. Oh, it was a foul. He, made, he did get through. I'm, I'm going to be fair. I thought, I thought Luke Shaw tackled him. It was a foul right on the edge of the box. Settle, 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 settle. This is what we need to do here. Settle down. I need to do it. I need to take a breath. But we need to settle down here because we've gone 1-0 up. That 1-0, you've got to keep a clean sheet for the next five minutes. I always used to say this, playing, coaching, just to myself. When you score a goal, don't concede in the next five minutes. Because all the good work of a goal disappears if they equalise and then they've got the momentum. Get a clean sheet for the next five minutes. This is a dangerous free kick situation. We've already conceded from a kick. Uh, we've only conceded from a free kick in this tournament. Insigne is on it. It's a decent position. Over the bar. Over the bar. Woo! Woo! Over the bar. Was watching the game without YouTube on. Saw Luke Shaw score. Had to get on YouTube to come and see Goatbridge reactions as Christopher Sandler. Mate. I don't care who scores tonight. The referee can score. I'll take any goal. I'll take any dive. I'll take anything. But you know in a game like that, when one of your favourite players does it, who's been on a journey that you'll never know. You've got to be a United fan to know the journey Luke Shaw's been on. Some of the criticism he's, got, he's had from our own fans. Some of the people in our fan base who've backed Luke Shaw and been called idiots and, and worse for backing him. It's just, it's just fantastic what he's done. I'm so, 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 so happy for him. But he's done it. He's done it. Um, Shaberto Carlos says J Win. We've got th nearly 30,000 people watching. It's only going to get better. It's only going to hot up more. We've got something to hold on to here. But look, now I've calmed down a bit. Now I've calmed down a bit. This is what I mean. We can all see a back five and go, oh, Southgate's gone a bit defensive. And I said it. But what did I keep saying? Look, Southgate's earned the right to do what he wants to do. But that goal, that goal is how. Um, how it becomes a 3-4-3. You know, Trippier and Shaw bombing forward and Insigne and Chiesa don't go with them. Like, I tell you what, who's marking Luke Shaw on the back post? Who was marking Trippier going forward? Look how high Trippier's playing. We are playing a very expansive 3-4-3, which is not how we played against Germany. It's a very expansive English side here. And it's causing Italy problems. So at the moment, you've got to say, give Southgate... Well, look, I think we all gave Sal... I think we all thought it might be a bit negative, but 
we all said, look, you've got to give Southgate the opportunity to you know see what he's worked on, and at the moment, it's working good. It's really working good. Um, calm down. Have a little drink. At the moment, we're going. At the moment, that's ours. If I'm on that pitch, I'm like I'm getting everybody focused. If this game ends now, we've won it. If this was a game of FIFA and they they, they piss off or the connection goes down, we've won it. Now it's not a game of FIFA, obviously, but what I'm saying is we're in control of this. You know, forever in a day, if we don't win this, we'll always go. Remember that first ten minutes when we were one nil up. If we just game managed it better, this is our game at the moment. Lovely ball. Oh, Trippier's done it again. Oh, blocked by Cialini. I tell you what, every time Trippier's getting in there, I'm thinking, oh, that could be a goal. Um, good work. Good work. Mr. Eshu says he's comf he's crying nearly. Bloody hell. I tell you. What a I just can't get over the goal by Luke Shaw. That needs clipping. I want to retweet it. Bloody hell. It's soft tell. Uh, England win. Italy is poor, says Alpha. Don't try your reverse psychology on me yet. I've been watching football for a long time. I know what happens. I know what happens here. Oh, England are going to win now. No. No. We've been... In Euro 96 semi-final, we were 1-0 up against Germany. When we go, oh, yeah, it's coming home. We'll beat the Czechs in the final. One, one bloody mistake, and we were 1-1, and then we lost on penalties. So, look, there's a long way to go yet. A long, long way to go. I ain't going to start counting my chickens before they've hatched. <sighs> long way to go yet. Take a breath. That's what the England team needs to do. Yes, definitely. Come on, England. Come on, England. But as I said, next five minutes, just don't concede. You know, let the game turn into a bit of a battle. Take the fouls like Harry Kane just did there. More than happy for all that stuff to happen. Luke Shaw in a final A. Luke Shaw scoring in a final A. Oh, yeah. We're going to have a good time. But we're going to keep it calm. We're going to be humble. We ain't gonna, we're not going to show off too much. Take just oh, look at the cross by Trippier as well. It was such a good cross by Trippier. And then, you know, Luke Shaw could have hit that on the volley. I like the way he let, I mean, it's a harder thing to do. It's a harder technique to hit it. Oh, look at it. Look at the pride. Look at the passion. Oh, imagine scoring that goal as well. First couple of minutes. Imagine the imagine how you feel. Magnificent. Magnificent. Just and I think, I think he's done a fantastic job as well. What a ball by Harry Kane to Trippier again. Luke Shaw's going to make the run. Ooh, it'll be a corner. <laughs> Harry Kane, it's working. Trippier's playing like a winger. They're in trouble. Italy might have to change here. And this, you know, this doesn't surprise me as well because Italy didn't start well against Spain. I know they went, well, what a ball by Harry Kane that is as well. Delightful. At the moment, it's it's working. It's working to a T. It's working absolutely fantastic. Uh, please subscribe, by the way. Bottom right hand corner. I don't know what we're doing, but we are on the road to half a million on this channel. So please subscribe. Bottom right hand corner. Uh, we're not far off four hundred seventy thousand. We could hit it tonight. So please subscribe. Bottom right hand corner. Really appreciate everyone tuning in. Everyone's welcome on that's football. Cross comes in straight into Donnarumma's arms. He wants to roll it out quickly. Oli Gunnar Solskjaer says Luke Shaw was the second best finisher at Manchester United as Blake. And uh, no foul. Ref plays it on. Good stuff. Let's have a look what's happening on the Paddy Power stream. There are people there. Uh, it's coming home, says Hayton. Um, Italy's going to win, says Norfolk. Come on, England, says Tiziani. SC says it's coming home. Chiesa is dangerous. Well, Chiesa is dangerous, Hassan. <sighs> what a start. What a start. Emotional as well. I mean, you know, I, I, I mean, we're on the attack again here with Mason Mount. Good tackle. Given a corner. Trip has been very good as well so far. Mr. Eshu, you can't... You can't be anything other than admir admiring what Southgate's done here. In the first 10 minutes, Italy are looking in trouble. 
Hi, Mark. Can Shaw be up for Ballon d'Or? Good luck, England from Ireland, says John O'Neill. Thanks, John. Well, I doubt he'll win Ballon d'Or. But he has been fantastic in this tournament, without a shadow of a doubt. England with the corner here. I tell you what, I'd love to get the second goal. Give us a second series, you shit. I'd love a second goal. I'd love a second goal. I'd love a third goal. Trippier with the corner. Cross comes in. Ooh, headed away. Lovely ball by Luke Shaw. Back into Trippier. He's got time. He doesn't put the cross in. Mason Mount will. It's a decent... Oh, it's straight into the hands of Donnarumma. I'm not a chicken. I'm like Richarlison. I'm just... I'm just trying to keep the tempo up England have got to keep that tempo up imagine what's going around through the mind of these players these elite players I believe it's Luke Shaw's birthday tomorrow I don't I think he deserves the number three at United uh, says Darren so happy for Luke everyone talking about Sterling our best player for me it's Shaw hands down says Jake Pennington and thoughts on Messi winning the Copa America Ali at this moment in time could not give a shit you know my country England is 1-0 up in a Euros final and we've never won anything since 1966 well done to Messi, but I'm not giving it much thought. Harsh or not, I'm not. And Italy just haven't settled into this game at the moment. They really haven't. Uh, which is good. Absolutely good. Uh, need to uh, give credit to Steve Holland as well, says Aravant. Well, it's the whole, whole coaching staff, isn't it? But uh, one goal in six matches for Luke Shaw. I think he's got two assists as well. England, please lose. I saw that one go through. But Italy is struggling. A little bit like they did against Spain. They're struggling to get through this England team. And, and for me at the moment, if you look at it, Look how narrow Sterling and Mount are playing. Look at Calvin Phillips hunting. Look at the way Kyle Walker's almost dropping in as a supplementary CDM and Stones and Jones are playing together. Although that's a lovely ball over the top to Emerson. Good tackle by Trippier. You've got to watch that. He's offside anyway. That's why he got in. But England making the pitch very narrow when they haven't got the ball. It's a very narrow formation. And we're almost playing with a back four with Kyle, Kyle Walker, the player that's coming out. Very, very energetic, tenacious approach from England here so far. De Rossi's chewing on his gum. Too early, too early to start getting too excited, but wow, what a start. What a start. Luke Shaw. Lovely cross by Trippier. Here's Luke Shaw again. Strong. Flips it wide. That'll go for a goal kick. Um, some, are, some are ruined for us. Irish, Welsh and Scottish. No way. Italy are going to get back into this. Media is going to milk this dry. Says 58 go. Oh, mate. Even as an England fan, I'd say that's just uh, tempting fate. You're just trying to reverse psychology. There's a long way to go. We're not even 20 minutes in. I've said a couple of years. Shaw was one of the best fullbacks in terms of defensive qualities. Now adding the attacking qualities the past year. Says truly balls. HD. I mean, mate, there are people in the United fan base that only six months ago were saying he's got a poor positional sense. I just don't... As I said, stupid stubbornness makes people stupid. You know, there's players that I don't rate, but if they start playing well, I'm, not, I'm, I'm man enough to say, you know, they've turned it around. But people who just can't do it because they, they're on some crusade to be proven right I mean what do you do if you didn't like Luke Shaw a year ago oh he's you know what he's listened to me and now he's sort his game out come on and they, they'll start telling you that he's only become good in the last year he won player of the year in 2019 like he's not suddenly become good he's always been good he's just been getting better and better but look I'm not getting into that conversation and Mourinho as well Mourinho well there you go there's a guy there's an example of a guy that's just stubborn and makes themselves look stupid because they have to be proven right. Um, haven't got the capacity to admit they were wrong. You know? So that, that to me is, uh, is what's happening there.
I can't believe. I'm, I'm, I'm going to try and get this away from my head because if I, if I can do it, the players can do it. But as things stand at the moment, if this, is, if this, if this got to full time like this, I'd be watching England lifting a trophy. I've, I've just said something I shouldn't have said, but you know that is in my head, like I'm sure it is in any England fans. I've never, I've never seen England lift a trophy. I, I mean, Jesus, I need to just move away from that. It's, it's making me bloody get emotional. I can't think like that. I've never seen England win a major trophy. And yet here they are, playing really well, 1-0 up. Deservedly so as well. But there's a long way to go. Football's a funny old game. It's not a funny old game as well. It can be a shitty game. It can be it can it can do you over big time. So, you know, oh he's yeah, he's gone back for the foul on Harry Kane there. This suits England, you know, past the minutes. Definitely. Keep it, keep it, keep it ticking over. Uh, make sure you smash the like on the video if you're watching, and please do subscribe. Bottom right hand corner, and if you are watching, click the share button. You can share it on Twitter and Facebook. We've got thirty thousand watching. Epic stream has the well, it's going to be epic one way or another, isn't it? That's what's going to happen. Shout out to my Terence, as Sly there, I think it was. Uh, Two 0 soon, hopefully. Marks is Reese. Lovely ball out wide to Luke Shaw on the left. Bit of a weird cross from Luke. And we've won a throw in. Uh, the, I won't be saying anything tonight about that. But I w I, what I would say is if Spain went 2 0 up against Italy, I'd think it was game over. But anything can happen. And if you are in this game. Look, I'm appreciative. To, I'm appreciative of Italy. I tell you what, can I just say as well? Looks like a high tempo against Italy is a good idea, doesn't it? Yeah. I've got to tweet that. If you know, you know. Oh, there's an injury here. Jorginho. That'd be a big blow for Italy if Jorginho comes off. Trippier much better than Wan-Bissaka, says John O'Neill. No, I said this. Aram's picked up on it. Premier League versus Serie A. I said this and I got pelters for it. I said it yesterday morning. Most Italian players are Serie A. Most of our players are Premier League. The Premier League is the best league in the world. It's the quickest league in the world. If we can get a high tempo against the Italian side, they won't know what's hit them. And all I got was, oh, Mancini's won a Premier League. Mancini plays with a high tempo. I didn't see a high tempo from Italy against Spain in the semi-final, which is why I said it yesterday morning. It was down to Southgate whether he wanted to do that. And when I saw a 5-3-2, I thought, shit, we're going to sit back and let them have the ball. Have we done that? Have we bollocks? We've gone at them. We've had a high tempo. We've used the energy of the Premier League. We've, sw we've swarmed all over them. And it's that's Tom Cruise. Yeah. Paul White, thank you very much for the super chat. But you know what? I don't know ball. I don't know ball, apparently. But, you know. I think everyone's entitled to their opinion, but a, a big shout out to Southgate because he's got it right. And look, we're only 20 minutes in. Things can change. Of course they can. But in the first 20 minutes, it's been perfect. We've absolutely dominated Italy because we've swarmed them with a high tempo. Now, can you do that for 90 minutes? No, you can't. At some point, Italy are going to get a bit of the ball. Tom Cruise, Mission Impossible. Well, it's not Mission Impossible for Italy. Endurance is going to be very important. Stamina, Barath. Yeah, you can have a high tempo for 20 minutes. Can you do it for 90? All my life, we've tried to find another way. Come on, England. All my life, I've tried to find another way. I don't care for your attitude. You bring me down, I think you're rude. All my life. Uh, hey, well, hold on a minute. Chiesa's down the right-hand side. Don't do this to me. Good play, Harry Maguire. Good clearance. <sighs> Just when I thought it was time to calm down, this is what I'm talking about. There's a long way to go here. We're going to have to defend as well as we've attacked. 
Good play, Declan Rice. Now Harry Kane. He's got to look for a pass. Good, intelligent play by Harry Kane. Yes, keep the ball. England really look like they're on something tonight. The momentum shows, says Dowell. Well, what I like about this team is as well is that they're passing the ball around so well. Confident, you know. Good tempo, confidence. And as I said, look, Harry Maguire made a bad pass in the first minute. And everyone's like, what the fuck, what the fuck? And I even said it as well. But then it's like, well, you know what? If you go and win that corner now and you get that mistake out of your head, you've done your mistake, haven't you? Here we go again. Sterling with a bit of room. Needs to pass it. No, he doesn't. He's running at the back four. He needs to pass. What is he? Where was he going then? This is the thing about Raheem. Sometimes he's a bit greedy. I don't know what he was looking to do there. A bit weird. Possible Trippier and Shaw combo at United next season. We can keep hoping now, can't we, says Kanishka. Italy on the break here. They have got a 3v3. But Maguire does well. Phillips does well as well. Um, Bjorn, Cooper's Netherlands referee during last 12 months. 109 yellow cards, 2.66 per game and seven reds. Uh, hope maybe high number doesn't play a role, says Jonathan Manson. Luke Shaw has been on quite a journey since 2015, broken to scoring in the finals of the Euros at Wembley, says Jacob Hawks. So yeah, that, that, that ankle break was, 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 was disgusting, wasn't it? Very happy for Shaw, he deserves it. Will we hear you sing Sweet Caroline if England wins, says Pierre Eric Klassen. Mate, I'll, I'm opening up a jukebox if we win. I'll sing anything. Um, I've got, we've got a party planned at full time if we win. Um, and then... When everyone's gone to bed, I'm going live on Twitch. It might be 1 o'clock, 2 o'clock in the morning. So Goldbridge TV on Twitch, if we win at some point tonight, I'll be live on it because I ain't going to bed. I don't believe in going to bed if you win something like this. I didn't go to bed till like half past five in the morning when Man United won the treble. So, you know, sleep's for wimps if we win it, but we've got to win it first. You know, I'm not, I'm not saying we've won this. I don't know what it feels like for England to win a bloody tournament. So I certainly can't sit here with any level of confidence and go, yeah, we've got this in the bag. I've got no bloody idea what this feels like. So I can't talk you through. Can't talk you through it. It's just we're just going to have to endure it and experience it together. Offside on Trippier. Good goal, wasn't it? Yeah, if he missed. Uh... I'd have let him off if he missed. It's Luke Shaw. He can do no wrong. Uh, keep the ball to England, says Hassan. Uh, how to watch the match, says Sadiq. Yeah, let us know where you are watching the match, by the way. That's something we haven't done yet. Let us know where you're watching the match. Are you in a pub? Are you with friends? Are you just sat? You know, you might live. You might be living in a house where people don't like football. You might be living in a house where people don't like England. You might be living in a house where everyone wants England to lose. Let us know where you're watching from. Uh, let's have a look what's happening in the, in the Paddy Park as well. Yes, that uh, jubilation. To start off with. Italy giving the winning the ball back here. Watch the just keep your eye on this game for the next five minutes because I think it's gonna be really important to see whether England start to just back off a little bit because of uh because, you know, we're not far off half time. We're already at 1am here in India. Might not be able to sleep if England win this, says Kanishka. Oh, mate. If we do, if we win this, right, tell Monday to just forget about it. it that's, a, that's a day in bed on Netflix if I get up early enough. You know, I, I am, I'm not interested tomorrow. Um, it's, uh, tomorrow will take care of itself because tonight we celebrate. But we're not there yet. We're not there yet. Good play by Kyle Walker there. Someone's in Egypt, South Africa. John's in Craig's basement. Wherever you are, whatever you're doing, we're in it together, one way or another. You know, Italy aren't out of it yet. I'm Irish. I was in the pub. And the amount of people who want Italy to win did my head in. We all watch English football, so we should all want England down, says James Marshall. You know what, though? I embrace that. I'm not bothered. I think if you're passionate about it, it's because you love football. Frustrated CA. Thanks for the super chat there. Here's Harry Kane. Harry Kane into the box. What's he going to do? One more goal for Harry Kane and he's level with Ronaldo and, and Schick. But England just keeping the ball here, which is intelligent as we approach the halfway halfway line. Half half an hour mark. Oh, 
giving the ball away there. Italy trying to follow Sean Dyche's master formula, says Abishak. I tell you what, I'm going to have to slip these on because my eyes are starting to get tired. Just give them a bit of a rest. That's what I'll do. Um, the way Italy have played in this game, they just don't have the tempo. They're playing so slow. 5.30 a.m. in Australia. But I don't care. I don't care what a match, says Mr. Ishu. And it's my daughter's birthday. And she is turning two. Watching the game in India and it's 1am would be a wonderful gift for having United players score, says Anaruda. Well, wherever you are, whatever you're doing, uh, I hope you're enjoying it. And I think there's more to come. I don't think this is going to end up like this. I'd love it to end up like this. I would take this right now. But, you know, Italy aren't going to... Italy aren't going to not go for it, are you? Are they? This isn't a bloody league game. This isn't a group game. This is the final of the Euros. You're not going to leave anything behind. You're going to give absolutely everything. I don't think someone's going to score in the first minute and win this game 1-0. But England win a free kick there. Benches will be key, yeah. But I'm very happy with England at the moment because I've not been impressed with Immobile in this tournament really anyway. I think his last couple of games especially, I think Immobile's looked really immobile. Um, Insigne is a very good player, but he's in and out of games. I think is their best player as an attacker and we've kept him very quiet. Although Carl Walker caught on the ball there, but good defensive work by Sterling there. Using his Man City vibes that you've got to work hard as a team to win the ball back. Stones, Maguire's going to have to be quick. Does well into Luke Shaw. And Luke Shaw does very well as well. And I'll tell you what, that could have worked out good. Uh, my lady is Italian and I'm cheering for England. I have DoorDash on ready, says TK. They're the dynamics that interest me. When you're living in a household that's, you know... I, lo I, lo I love Italy. I love Italy. I do. I've, I've said that throughout the tournament. I've said it many a time. I love Italian football. I love Italian food. Um, you know, I, I grew up with, you know, Italian connections. I've got... I love Italy, but not tonight. This is, this is, you know, I'm English. England need to win. I've seen Italy win World Cups anyway. I, you know, I've been happy when Italy have won World Cups. But tonight, I liked Denmark, but no. You know, I'm not eating pasta tonight. There'll be no pizza. There'll be no Peroni. There'll be no Costa coffee. That's probably not Italian, is it? Uh, Insigne, good interception by Rice. Phillips has got himself into trouble. I don't know what Declan Rice was doing there. He did not need to be playing a five-yard pass to Kelvin Phillips in the box. And it's good that we want to play our way out of trouble, but sometimes just put your foot through it and blast it. And I tell you what, there are going to be mo there's going to be squeaky bum moments tonight. Definitely, there ain't no way we are just keeping them out of our penalty box for ninety minutes. Uh, and what did I tell you about the next five minutes? Italy up in the tempo a bit, starting to get possession of the ball. England just having a mo having a few minutes of uh, looking to counter attack, I think. But lots of players behind the ball. They're getting into the game now, says JD. This was always going to happen. And it's good possession from Italy, but Carl Walker's got it. And we're losing it again. That's the second fucking time. Second time we've done that. Stuck on the edge of our box trying to pass out. Just get it out. That's that's naive from England twice. And now they're into the box again, Italy. Emerson. Uh, goal kick. Good play. Good play. Mark, you're absolutely right. Premier League tempo is killing these Italians. It's coming home, says Arkank. English United fan watching the game in New York City. I can't believe the belief in this team isn't sure sensational. Come on, England, says Abe. Yeah, he has. He's been absolutely brilliant. And the great thing about Luke Shaw is, as well is that some people put Luke Shaw, because they don't know Luke Shaw's been getting better and better for the last three, four years, some people think it's because of Ole Gunnar Solskjaer. Well, if it's because of Ole Gunnar Solskjaer, he wouldn't be able to perform for Gareth Southgate. Um, and Solskjaer's had a big... Big part in, in, in Shaw's development. Of course he has. But Luke Shaw's been on this journey for four years, um, which is why I've always really liked him. I think he's got those pure attributes. It's Sterling into Mount. Tried to play it back. Almost, almost Italy clear. Luke Shaw, says Jensk. Foden trim incoming. Mate, I'd, I'd have done any trim. I think Foden trim's an easy trim. I, I, you know, I would have done a... 
I'd have done a trying to think of an English haircut that would have made me look a, a right prat, but uh, I'd have done braids. I'd have done Beckham's braids or Rio's braids. I ain't bothered. You know, this is the, if England can win this, this is a. I've never been in this position before. We never have. Imagine, imagine, at ten o'clock tonight, we're watching England win. I, I just can't even. I can't even. I can't. I can't because that's the that's the worst thing you can do. It terrifies me to start thinking that I could see England lifting a trophy, and that's the worst thing you can do. We're nowhere near that yet. It's it's a, it, it, it just it messes with my head. It messes with my head to do that. So I can't think like that. Um, get Mount off. Yeah, a few people getting on Mason Mount's back. I mean, look, benches are going to be very important for both sides. Declan Rice, look at Chiesa there. He's mu he's absolutely. Oh my God. Look at that from Chiesa. That was brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. Chiesa is the danger, man. He gets past... Uh, he leaves... He, he just mugs off Declan Rice. And you know what? That was close because look at Pickford's reaction. He hasn't got a bloody clue about his angles there. That is... That was close. That was very close. Pickford was beaten. And, he, and the thing about Chiesa is his shot is one of the best players in the world for, for how, how powerful and low he can hit it. He's got such a good shot on him. Not quite with the accuracy there, thank goodness. But yeah, Declan Rice, I think Declan Rice there, probably a little bit naive, felt he needed to make the tackle when actually he just needed to hold his position. Love this, Mark. I'm at home yet. I can feel the air. Cheers from London, Ontario, Canada, says Elijah Wells. Here's Luke Shaw on the left-hand side. Good work by Luke Shaw and he's won it back and he's into the box and he crosses it and it's a lovely cross and it's just behind Mason Mount. Lovely play by Luke Shaw again. Yeah, I think Bayern, Mike, Bayern Munich are, in, are interested in Chiesa. He's a fan. I, I like Chiesa. Very direct with a lovely shot. Don't know how old Chiesa is. He, I think he's a little... Is he 23, 24? So he might, he's got the potential to get better. I can feel it coming in the air tonight. Oh, Lord. I've been waiting, waiting all my life. Oh, Lord. I can feel... I'm not, no, I'm not, I'm not doing the jukebox yet. Sure is a beast, says uh, Raz Mitch. Hey, I ain't jinxing anything. I, I've just, I've just said it a couple of minutes ago. I can't think that Harry Kane could be lifting that in an hour, just over an hour. I can't think like that. It doesn't it? Doesn't I can't compute? Fans storming the gates and the grounds. Kids scared. Riots in the stands and turnstiles. Brits can't behave. People are being hurt. So sad, says Ryan. Well, I don't know whether that's going on now, Ryan. But the game kicked off at eight o'clock, so. I don't think it was as as bad as as people wanted to make it out. But look, it's it's not acceptable. This is unfortunately, look, I know people have been drinking since nine o'clock this morning. And as we know, alcohol, drinking, excitement can lead to uh, raucous behaviour. Kies is only 23, says Jamie. Well, there you go then. There you go. One of my mates has just messaged me. Andre Kanchelskis on speed. That's Kiesa. Yeah, if you if you know, you know. He is he is a lot like that. Uh please subscribe by the way, bottom right hand corner. What are you thinking now? I mean if you if you don't want England to win, you're thinking, God, I'd love Italy to score a goal. Um as an England fan, I'm thinking let's get to half time. Let's have a chat. Henderson could be massively important in this game. Emerson, should that have been a red? You don't want to see a red card in a final. I just hope if we put a tackle in like that, he doesn't decide to give us a red. The final whistle feels ages away. Big fan of yours, Mark. Greetings from Palestine, says Isazer. Here's Italy coming at us again. And Kyle Walker's got it. Well done. Oh, he's given, he's given it offside. Good. Uh, we're only 200 subscribers away from 470,000, which is amazing. So please subscribe, bottom right-hand corner. You're very welcome on That's Football. Everybody is welcome here. We do a lot of watch-alongs during the season. Obviously, Premier League, Champions League, internationals, 
We've done every single one of the Euros and it's been fantastic. So thanks everyone for watching and please subscribe and join the community and get involved. Chubba says, Chiesa reminds me of Greenwood. Thanks for the super chats, by the way, people who've been doing those. Um, yeah, I, yeah, I mean, one right footer, left footer, I suppose that's why I probably wouldn't think of it like that. But no, yeah, yeah. I mean, I think Greenwood's a generational talent. I don't, I don't know about Chiesa, but he, you know, he's a good player. Um, but yeah, England just need to get to half time here. The joy of an early goal as well. What an opening! What a goal it was! But the joy of an opening, the joy of an early goal has put us into a really strong position here. Uh, immobile is absolute tonk, says Andy. I presume Bellotti isn't considered that good because I would not. I think Immobile's Immobile has been Immobile. Uh, should have bought on Romano for a watch along. <laughs> yeah, and Arvind, I bet Romano is panicking. But there's a long way to go. Should it is Italy on the attack? They've got numbers. Here's Emerson. Insigne back into Emerson. Watch. Oh yeah, take your time. Take your time, Phillips. And in fact, that's not a bad ball. That's it, Harry Kane. Harry Kane's gonna have a tough game tonight. He's just got to try and rough up Chiellini and Bonucci. He's got to just, you know, he's not probably not gonna get the fouls, but you keep working them, Harry. Keep working it, working it, working it. Look at Italy though, they can't break through. This Their tempo is not quick enough. Their triangles are not there. They're not. They're, they're passing it side to side. They can't do anything. Phillips attaching himself. Giorgino having to come very deep. The tempo is not there for, for Italy. They're getting to our... It's taken them a long time to get to the final third. And then when they do, England have got so many numbers back. They're not creating the spaces. And again, England just biting into the tackles. Mason Mount. Oh, he's giving a foul. On Italy. Greenish for Mount now, says Captain Birdseye. Well, the thing I would say about Mason Mount, though, I mean, I, I, I'm not seeing this. I know a lot of people don't think Mount's playing very, very well. But um, the one thing about Mason Mount is you could play him in the midfield. He's a very tenacious tackler. That's not really Greenish's thing. So I don't think Southgate would be looking at that. Euros were better with watch-alongs. Do it for World Cup 2, says Muriel. Only 18 months till that. Everybody here in New Zealand back in England, says Lumox. Thank you very much. This is a dangerous opportunity for Italy to put a cross in. That's a decent cross. It's a great header by Stones. We've got to close it out here. Edge of the box. Emerson on the left-hand side. This is better. Good positional sense by England. Back. Get your shape. Push them to the edge of the box. Good. Good. Italy coming forward. England holding their line. Emerson's got it on the left. Chiesa again. Watch out. Don't let him on his right foot. He's got a right foot like a traction engine. Italy. You see, it's slow now. Italy just moving the ball about. See what happens here, and I'll read that super chat from Dimitri. 41. Just, hit, just about to hit 42 minutes. Italy going side to side. Like a crab. Now they'll put the cross in. It's a good block by Trippier. And Dimitri Ryan says, ages away, but if England win, how will that change your thoughts on Southgate and how much job security will it give him? And uh, hi, Mark. Please do a Sean Dyche half-time team talk, says Guitar Boy. I might risk it. Um, my, my opinion on Southgate's changed anyway. I said if we didn't beat Germany, I would sack him. If he beats Germany, he stays in a job. Wow. You know, I didn't expect us to then be in the final. Uh, and I didn't expect us to be in the final winning fairly comfortably as far as finals go that's quite a comfortable 40 minutes for England we deserve to be 1-0 in front and we've not conceded any chance we've let Italy have the ball where we want them to have the ball we've never been stretched uh, Gustav thanks for the super chat there um, I, I was not a big fan of the back five against Germany we beat them 2-0 I've not I'm not a big fan of the back five today we scored because of the back five Trippier to Shaw and we've kept a clean sheet and we've played entertaining fast tempo football so you know, for me, I go back to I go back to what I said about Luke Shaw. I saw in Luke Shaw when we bought him, and you know when he came back from injury, that he had the potential to be a world class left back, and he's got better and better and better, and that's not changed for me. So, you know, some people don't want to listen to that, but some people do. Southgate, I wasn't so sure about him. As I sit here now, he will get a massive contract. Whether he wins or not, he won't. And I've enjoyed the way England have played tonight. I don't think we've played brilliant throughout this tournament, but I think tonight has been a performance that I've absolutely loved. Look at this run by Declan Rice. Keep going, mate. Oh, late, ref. That's a foul. No, he says get up. What a run by Declan Rice, but he gives the ball away. But it's been an entertaining performance by England. And, you know, give Southgate his credit. There's nothing wrong with saying, look, 
he's, he's convinced me. You've wooed me. Um, do I think Southgate's a bit pragmatic and defensive? Yes. Do I think we've played pragmatic and defensive tonight? No. Brilliant. Brilliant so far. Nice ball over the top. Kyle Walker's going to deal with Insigne there. Now Trippier comes in. You ain't going nowhere, boy. You ain't going nowhere, boy. But they've still got it. Emerson, watch out. Close him down, close him down. Oh, yes. See, lots of numbers back there. Too many numbers back for England. The hard work. Work, work, work. Substitutions at about an hour. Tempo's been classed as Advath. Yeah, keep the, keep the tempo going. And, uh, you know, we've got players who can come off the bench. Reese James could do Trippier's job. Obviously, we know we've got Grealish. We've got Jordan Henderson. We've got Bellingham. For me, maybe, to, maybe tonight's not a night for Grealish. If we're 1-0 up, maybe it's not. Maybe it's about Henderson. Maybe it's about Bellingham. Maybe it's about Reese James. You know, maybe it's about keeping this tempo up. Um, yeah, definitely. What, what, what's happening in the uh, fan park at the moment? We're nearly at half time, by the way. Yeah, we're looking excited. Four minutes. Where's he got four minutes from? What happened for four minutes? Don't know. The ref is allowing the game to flow, which is so refreshing. No nonsense. as path. And after group stage, I wanted England out. You played really boring football, but from there, you've really improved. And now I hope you win it from Sweden, says Max. Yeah, look, we've not been fantastic throughout the tournament. I think any English fan would agree with that, uh, even though we're just desperate to win it. But I think tonight is a performance that I didn't really massively expect um, so far. Long, long way to go. But we're looking comfortable at the moment. Italy are going to have to change their game plan. Mancini's going to have to change his game plan. And the great thing about football is you can be shit in one half and you can be superb in the second half. Oh, good block. That was a big chance for Italy. Well, not a big chance, but it's their best chance of the game. Not good marking there. I don't know why Stones lost his man. He made the block, but take a look at this. Take a look at this cross. You've got a question. Why... Immobile is unmarked on the spin there. That is not good defensive play by England. Um, and I think it was Stones' fault. Got to be tighter than that. It's a routine cross. You can't be leaving. Got two centre-backs. Some, and sometimes that's the problem. One striker, two centre-backs. Who's marking the striker? You can't do that. Welcome to the Members Club, Sarah Dow. Thanks to everyone who subscribed, by the way. We're very close to 470,000. So please subscribe. Bottom right-hand corner. <sighs> Got well in Luke Shaw. And now Sterling. Here's Harry Kane. Get the pass off. No. Phillips can't get that. Take your time, John. Take your time, Pebbles. There you go. Lovely ball. Oh, no. Phillips. Play the pass, Phillips. Play the pass. Captain Phillips. There you go. Now Maguire into Shaw. That dream team down the left-hand side. Side Back into Declan Rice. Options are options are us. Options are us. That's it. Play the pass. Man of the match so far. Well, it's got to be Luke Shaw, hasn't it? But there's been so many good performances. Here's Mason Mount into Sterling. Have a look. Ah. Oh. Sterling's passing has been a little bit off here. Look at the energy of Luke Shaw here, though. This is what I talk about Luke Shaw all the time. His engine to get back. Insigne lays it off well. Phillips, work, work, Phillips. Brilliant. That's the way. That's the way. Stay with him. Notice what Italy are having to do. Chiesa is having to wander into central areas because he's just getting no change out of Luke Shaw. Very good tactical spot there. Chiesa is wandering away from Luke Shaw because he's just not getting anything. We're seeing Chiesa spot uh, play off the left, come central. He's back on the right now. Insigne's not moved. He's staying on the left. But Chiesa's moving around, trying to create some uh, some space. Italy again. Only, only a minute to go. Mad shot by Benucci there. 40 yards. Keep them coming, mate. Keep them coming. You can keep giving me that. Keep giving me that. Keep it coming. If you're going to score from there, I'll, I'll clap you myself. But um, it's going to be 1-0 nil, nil to England at half-time here. 20 seconds to go. Don't stop believing. 
Hold on to that feeling, street lights, people. Just a Mustang girl living in a lonely world. She probably wasn't a Mustang. And that's half time. Yabba dabba do. I tell you what, everybody. Can I just say something? I tell you what. Listen up. Listen up and listen hard. Listen up and listen hard. Yeah, I gotta hold on. We're, we're halfway there. Wow! Living on a prayer. Take my hand. I'll make it, I swear. Whoa! Living on a prayer. Living on a prayer. We're halfway there. We're halfway there. It's 1 0 to England at half time. Look at the guy in the flag. That's every English guy out there. Absolutely. Absolutely. Absolutely fantastic. It's absolutely incredible, Mark. I can't tell you how happy I am. I've not even watched it. I'm recording a new take that song. But it's absolutely incredible. It's fantastic. It's absolutely fantastic. 1-0 to England. Totally deserved at half-time. The way we've played that game, the justification in Southgate in playing a back five is superb. I don't think we've seen England play a back five like that before. I think we've seen England play with a back five before, but we've not seen England play it in the way that maybe a two cal does or an intelligent attacking manager does. Because a back five on paper makes it look very defensive. You look at that team and you go, back five, two holding midfielders, where's the creativity? Where is it? Then you see that performance and you see Luke Shaw getting on the, on the end of a Trippier cross and you go, oh, right, Trippier and Luke Shaw are basically wingers. We're playing with a front five at times. Um, the defensive work is being done by Walker, Stones and Maguire, with, supplemented by Phillips or Rice. Luke Shaw and Trippier are bombing forward. And look, Kean says Italy are pathetic. Totally deserved, says 58 go. What, what, where I feel justified and where I think Southgate feels justified and where I think a lot of people will feel justified is that this nonsense, absolute, absolute nonsense that people were saying... And I said it, my tweet's out there on Saturday. I've got it ready, mate. Don't worry, if we win this game, that's getting retweeted with a big oh. Because I said, Premier League players, we've, we're a team full of Premier League players. They're a team full of Italian Serie A players. Serie A is slow. Premier League is fast. This is, in, this is at Wembley. Don't sit back and let them knock the ball around like they do in Italy. Don't let it be a slow game. Make it be a quick game. Let's warm, pop the jam, pump it up a little more. Get the party going on the dance floor. Pump it up. You've got to pump it. You've got to pump that tempo up. And we have pumped that tempo up. So, you know, I'm absolutely overjoyed with the way that we've, temp we've, we've, we've increased that tempo in that game. Can we do it for a 90 minutes? You know what? Yes, we can. Yes, we can. You know why we can? Because we've got Jordan Henderson who can come on. We've got Bellingham who can come on. We've got Rhys James can come on. We've got, maybe today is not going to be a day for Marcus Rashford, Jaden Sancho, Jack Grealish. If we need it to be, it can be. But if I'm telling you what, I'm telling you what. If I'm Gareth Southgate, I'm like, at the moment, the way we are playing, let Mancini deal with it. They still can't deal with it. I ain't changing anything. I'm keeping with this 3-4-3, 5-3-2, whatever you want to call it. I'm staying with this because they can't deal with it. They can't break us down. And they can't get their tempo going. So for me, I'm like, look, Phillips, Rice, you blast it for 15 minutes. And then I'm taking you off for Jordan Henderson. And I tell you what, the other one, if you get tired, I've got Jude Bellingham. And I tell you what, Trippier, if you're getting tired, I've got Rhys James. So I'm I'm like that at the moment. I'm like, keep doing what you're doing. If Italy find a solution, and look, Mancini's a good coach. If Italy find a solution, then we've got an attacking solution. Maybe we do bring Grealish on. Maybe we do bring Sancho on. Um, but for the way it's going at the moment, let them change the game and let's see what they've got. Martin Tyler and Southgate, the nation might have forgiven the penalty miss. He hasn't. His redemption and Shaw rise to the throne of the best left backs, says Anish. And United to win the Europa League or England win the Euros, Mark. Well, Khalifa, I must admit, we're not winning the Europa League because we bottled it. So I can easily say England for that. Um, crazy scenes all around England. I'm just looking at the reaction at the box park, looking at the reaction in uh, Trafalgar Square as well. Jumping around, beer, everything. 
absolute scenes, madness. And as you saw it in the fan park, let's go back to it. Um, the Paddy Park. It's gone a bit dark there. Boring English, bad, bad ambassadors of the game. Pranava. I've got a bit of... Um, there's half a can of uh, tonic and just a little bit more of the G. Um, need a second goal to kill it, Mark, says Yaza. Mate, we are 45 minutes away from something that I can't even discuss. We are 45, and that's why I'm not going to discuss it, but I am. Because I, I can't tell you what's going to happen. I can tell you what's ha what can happen when Man United are losing 1-0 to Villa. I'll say we can come back and win this 2-1. I can tell you what will happen when Man United are winning 2-0 at home to, you know, Reading. We'll probably go and win 4-0. I can tell you when it's 0-0 at Anfield that it's going to be tight and, you know, probably end up 0-0. I can't tell you what happens in a game when England are in a final at Wembley, 1-0 up, and they could be lifting a trophy in 45 minutes. I can't tell you because I can't imagine it. I can't imagine Harry Kane lifting a trophy for England. This has never happened in my life. So 45 minutes, we're 1-0 up. Right here, right now, we deserve to lift that trophy. In 45 minutes, I don't know. Maybe a cross comes in and Chiellini gets his head on it and we go to extra time and they win on penalties. Maybe we keep doing what we're doing and we get a second goal and we kill it. I think if we get the second goal, it's over. I don't. I know 2-0 is a dangerous scoreline, but I don't think 2-0 is a dangerous scoreline in the final when you get the second goal in the second half. So this is this is character building for everybody. And as I keep saying, this feels different. It feels like a uh, new era for England. And, you know, that's what we're on the verge of. But we've got to go out there and get it. We've got to keep working hard. Um, Mark, sure, his quality week in, week out, mate. He, mate, he suffers because of what Jose did to him, says Andy and Bruno. Welcome to the members club, Klopp. Um, but look, there's a lot of people getting very, very stressed in the live chat because they don't want this to happen. You know what? It might not happen. It's not happened yet. Um, I'd be very, very surprised. The last final I remember this happening was uh, Liverpool against Spurs in the Champions League final a few years ago. And Liverpool scored very early and um, it finished 1-0, didn't it? Or did, did Liverpool make it 2-0? I can't remember. I mean, look, I don't, I'm not a Liverpool fan. I can't remember what that final score was. But it's very rare that you get an early goal and then it just finishes 1-0. So I don't think it will end up 1-0. And as Dan Breen says, there is a long way to go. So we'll see what happens. But uh, look... Um, the great thing is we've got a lot of options on the bench. If we want to keep it like this and you want to re-energise it, Jordan Henderson, I think, is massive, especially in a game like this. Imagine, you know, I would have liked Jordan Henderson to start, but Phillips and Rice have been fantastic. So Jordan Henderson to come on when you need to see a game out would be even better. Bellingham's got legs. He can come in and do a job. Reese James is on the bench as well. So I think that, you know, and also, as I said, if we need to chase the game and go and win it, you, you know, I don't think he, he needs to go attacking. But if he needed to, you've still got the options to go and do that as well. So um, long, long way to go. Definitely. Thanks. Um, but I can't I can't um, I can't um, dispute where we are with it. Um, we totally deserve to be in this position. Um it's squeaky bum time. And, and and it's a squeaky bum I've never had before. I've never had this before. I don't know what it's like for England to be in this final. Which way do you think it's going to go, chat? What would you do? What, what do you think is going to happen? I said, I said England would win 2-0 in or 2-1 in 90 minutes. At the moment, I'm looking smug. I said yesterday morning, and the tweet's there, that England will have the better tempo and the Premier League will dominate Serie A because of tempo. I got people... Look, there's people out there saying bad football takes. The game hadn't even kicked off. At the moment, the only bad football take is the twats who, who, who ridiculed it. So, you know, these tempo twats, I call them, that think that Italian football is quicker than the English game. As an Arsenal fan, Luke Shaw has been the best player of the tournament and have given them the credit he deserves. Would love to see Saka on. And AFC, as soon as you said you're an Arsenal fan, I must say I've, I've, I've totally neglected Saka. I mean, look, you've got. if we need to, you've got Grealish, Saka, Sancho. If you need to be attacking you've got those options but as I said if I'm Gareth Southgate at the moment for the next 15 minutes I'm not even thinking about that I'm thinking about keeping it the same I'm thinking about keeping the energy levels and the tempo up and I'm saying to Phillips and Rice just let me know don't be a hero you've already been a hero 60 minutes of you is more than enough let me know and then we can get Henderson on that's what I'm thinking about as a first substitution but 
Obviously, an Italian goal changes it. And then suddenly you go, right, Grealish, go and win us the game. Saka, go and give us some fresh legs. Because, to be honest with you, I think Harry Kane's played well. I think Mount has battled well, but really uh, uh, got on the football not that much again. Sterling is always a threat, but some of his passing is a little bit off. So, you know, we could be better in the final third. But the goal is a justification for playing the back five. I mean, it, it really did. You guys criticise Jose, that same thing England is doing. You guys love it. So sad. I've never seen I've never seen Mourinho play like this. This I mean, look, I think Southgate is similar to Mourinho, but this performance tonight is is one to be proud of. I mean, what 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 a game to fate to to uh, keep your best performance of the tournament back for. This has been a dominant performance from England, and people will say, "Well, you only had one shot on goal." It's been a dominant performance from England because dominant performances aren't always pep dominance. You know, dominant performances aren't always twenty shots on goal with ninety percent possession. Dominant performances are defensively calm, midfield winning the battle, 1-0 up, a threat when every time you attack, confident on the ball. That's a dominant performance from England. Um, and, you know, in a final, that's about as dominant as it gets. You're not going to get a mismatch. So I think it's been a fantastic performance from England and I think they need to keep it going. But it's a game of two halves. It's a funny old game. You know, one up the book. No, but it's but it's it is there for Italy to come back. And if I was Italian, which I've got an Italian shirt. No, I'm really. Um, my, my, my makeup today is this. That's the one. I had it for Germany. I had it for uh, uh, Denmark. So I've gone with that again. But um, can we expect a Luke Shaw shirt from the United Stands to Scott Andrews? Hey, I'll tell you what, I think that's a good idea. But um, it is a game of two halves. And Italy, as I said during the game, Italy cannot just give it up. You know, this is not a group game. This is not a friendly. You know, this is a final. And if I'm Mancini, you know what he's going to be saying. Look, you can't leave anything out there. You're 45 minutes from being a loser. If you give everything and you can't win, we can't do anything more. But you can. De Italy can definitely be better. So I'll be surprised if we don't see an Italy reaction. The first 15 minutes are key. Can Italy start to get a foothold on the game? Because if they can get a foothold in the game, maybe England start sitting back more and more. And, you know, the danger with 1-0 is if Italy score in the 85th minute, they've got momentum into extra time and you're playing penalties. It's a dangerous scoreline. 1-0 is dangerous because you've won the game, but one goal and you haven't. And then the momentum and then the game, you know... So there's a long way to go yet. And yeah, I'm, I'm confident, but I'm only confident because I was confident before the game. I'm not confident in relation to how that game is. I think there's a, a lot of twists and turns to go and the bench is going to be key. And I, as I said in the preview yesterday, I think Jordan Henderson is going to be key in this game. When he gets him on, I think he's got the leadership and the passing ability to, to really take it home. Um, but... Look, let's see. Uh, please subscribe, by the way, bottom right-hand corner. Let's have a look what's happening on the Paddy Power channel as well because we've got 450 people watching there. Please do subscribe. Um, come on, England, says British MG Tau. Can Italy win? Yes, but in the first half, that was English dominance, says Hassan. Brilliant Southgate, says Bada Bing. It's coming Rome, lad, says Gravy. Not at the moment. It's coming home. Um, England fans to shine a laser in the eyes of the Italians and cheat, says Gravy. <laughs> Mate, keep it coming. Keep it coming. Uh, two balls on the pitch. Penalty shouldn't have stood. Oh, man. People are still going on about that. Lovely, lovely stuff. We're only 200 subscribers away from 471,000, by the way. So please subscribe. Bottom right-hand corner to do that. Thanks, everyone, for tuning in. And can I just say as well, big shout-out to Paddy Power for giving us the uh, stream from the Paddy Park in London throughout this tournament. Uh, if you're on the Paddy Power channel, YouTube, please subscribe, bottom right-hand corner. And if you're on That's Football, I've dropped the link in the video description please subscribe to the Paddy Power YouTube channel. It only takes one click and they have provided us with this stream throughout. So a big shout, shout out to them for that. And I think it's the least we can do. Just subscribe to their YouTube channel. Links in the video description for that. But uh, lots of excited people. The night is young if we win. The night is short if we lose. So, you know, is there a big party coming in? Let's see. Let's see. Uh, I'm not interested in English smugness. I'm not interested in anything like that. I totally understand why people don't want England to win. Um, understand why I want them to win. Understand why English people want them to win because we've never seen it happen before. Uh, Mark, the gold is made in Manchester, scored in London. Come on, England, says Andy and Bruno. Andy and Bruno. Um, I'm Harry Byrne. Um, Not doing that. What a heck. Uh, Sky Sports News, Jim White. Oh, shite. I'm Scottish and England are going to win. 
Do a quick Sean Dyche. Play. No, I can't do. I don't want to do Sean Dyche, Zippy. I don't want to do Sean Dyche. Um, pictures of English fans trying to get in, and they do get in. Do they? I don't know what's going on there. Um, I don't know why they opened the door in the first place. Um, need to keep the pressure on their defence, says JD. Well, here come the players for the second half. Hi, Mark. I can't wait to hear our United players called Sirs. That would be amazing, says Igero. I don't know whether they would get that, would they? I don't know. Um, I mean, it might be a game to bring Gareth Southgate in, you know. Not, <laughs> what am I talking about? That was, that's the gin. It might be a time. It might be a game to bring Marcus Rashford in. Just out and out pace on the break. And the one thing I would say about Southgate is that tactically he has made a lot of changes and he does he manages a game as a game. And he might look at it and go, look, Rashford's done nothing in this tournament, but he's out and out pace on that break in the last 20 minutes. Might be just what we need to throw on. Uh, or he might look at Saka or someone like that. But the players are out on the pitch. We're out. We're about ready now for it. Uh, got nearly 10,000 likes on the video already. Thanks everyone who's liked the video. You can share the video by clicking the share button on Twitter and on Facebook and everything. Thanks everyone for tuning in. Fantastic community we've had during the Euros. What's to come in the next 45 minutes? Sterling kicks it off. Timer is on the screen. Let's see what's going to happen. Um, wish I could see Jose Marino's reaction to Luke Shaw's goal, says Mark. Um uh, hey, Mark, Henderson is key. England playing well. Still a long way to go, but going for an England win 2-1, says Mohamed Idris. I think the biggest scoreline I've seen over the last couple of days is England to win it 2-1, so it's on at the moment. Mark, will you colour your hair like Foden if England win the Euros, says Garav. It's apparently happening, yeah. Got a little Italy down the street from me, walking an English flag down there when England win. Nothing would make me happier, says JT. And what is the best goal for you in this tournament, Mark, says Perret Klassen. Um, I still think Schick's goal against Scotland was 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 remarkable. Um, yeah. Um, let's see how this goes anyway in the first uh, 15 minutes here. Italy have got to get that tempo up that we've spoken about. England need to... The uh, tempo was always going to be key in this game. Whoever gets the tempo up and controls the tempo is going to control the game. And England controlled that tempo in the first half. Italy have got to try and do something. And I didn't mention it as well at half-time. Italy have got good options on the bench as well. I mean, Immobile, Immobile has been Immobile. Chiesa is a threat. And, um, you know, they've got Bernadeschi off the bench. They've got Bellotti off the bench. They've got Berardi off the bench. They've got Locatelli off the bench. Pessini off the bench. They've got options. They've definitely got options and they will use them. Perrot Klassen says, what's the best goal for you? have done that one. Thank you very much. Yellow card here. Yellow card to Barella for a foul on Kane. First yellow card of the game, I think, which isn't bad for the second half. Referees refed it well. Just caught him behind there. Yeah, probably is a yellow card tackle, to be fair. Harry Kane is I'm not reading that out. Let's defend for 50 minutes, says the Russo. I don't, I don't think that's... I think... I wouldn't say attack is the best form of defence, but I'd say tempo is the best form of defence. You've got to keep wanting the ball. You've got to keep pressing them for the ball. Uh, we don't need to go out all out attack by any means, but we do need to try and keep the ball. Lovely play by Luke Shaw. Sterling into the box. Mm. Refs had a look and said, no, we're never going to get a penalty like that in this sort of game. No, it's not going to happen. You can't get a penalty like that. Not after the one in the semi-final, but mm, you know what? I'd say uh, on first look, it's probably similar to the one in the one against Denmark. You're not going to get two. The world, the world would end if he gave a penalty there. And I think the referee has probably been convinced a little bit by us not getting a penalty in the other games. But I haven't, I've only seen it once. It certainly looked a little bit dubious. I don't think he was going to get the ball anyway. And I certainly don't think it will be reviewed by VAR. Because I don't think it was a clear and obvious error. Pickford blasts it out for a throw. And we'll get a look at it now. Let's have a look. Referee. Sterling. No. No, that's not a penalty. That's that's nothing like... Well, from that angle, it looks like a penalty. But 
it definitely connects with him, but I think Sterling moves into the defender, which is which is which is clever, clever. So it wouldn't be a penalty for me, no. So we carry on. Jack D says it was a penalty. Calm down, calm down. Forty nine minutes. That five minutes has gone quick though. I'm liking that. Oh, good play by Barella. Phillips close him down. Good play by Sterling. Oh, he's given a free kick right on the edge of the box. What a what an arse. What an arsehole ref. Come on. So I mean, it's a bit stilly by Sterling, but Yeah, it is it is a foul. That is a foul. It look, I didn't. Th I thought he'd used his shoulder, but he doesn't. He uses his leg right on the edge of the box. This is horrible, horrible position for a free kick for England. This is a big moment in the game. This is a perfect free kick situation. It's right, dead centre, slightly to the left, at the edge of the D. You've got enough room to get it up and over. This is a lovely free kick position, and it's a silly foul. It's a silly foul by Sterling that. And it's a good free kick. Didn't mess about there, Insigne. Good opportunity, and it's over the bar. It's over the Demba. Susan Brandon says, thank goodness. Mustang Sally, you better slow that Mustang down. Mustang Sally now, baby. Craig says, get the hair dye ready, pal. Mate, I was born ready. Do it tonight. Do it tonight. Oh, man. what What's going to happen in the next 40 minutes? You know, what what a, what what a way to, if you're a football fan, what a way to know that, you know, 40 minutes is not a long time, but it could be the longest 40 minutes ever. And then in 40, 40 minutes, we could be seeing something. I mean, imagine what we're going to see in 40 minutes. Just imagine extra time an Italy come back, England win, Declan Rice again, lovely play. I like the way Declan Rice is attacked today more than the way he's defended. Harry Kane trying to do too much. Take him out, Harry. Take the yellow card. Take, somebody take him out. Chiesa, this is not good. This is because Harry Kane's lost the ball. I do not like that. Kyle Walker, head it back to Pickford. Oh, magnificent. Magnificent from Kyle Walker there. That is brilliant. That's what he's there for. Brilliant. Don't like the way Harry Kane, Mason Mount and Sterling are holding on to the ball a lot. Use the ball. Stop losing the ball, says English Stacey. Exactly. Stop losing the ball. Keep the possession going. Interesting ball by Sterling as he's not won the free kick again. That's the second. That's three times Sterling has not done the right thing. Well, not well, not 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 even not done the right thing. He's not won as um, a decision. But look at the pressing here from Mountain Phillips. They've totally worked that situation back. But now it's Emerson. Somebody's got to go to him. Now it goes to Insigne on the left wing. Stand him up, Trippier. That's it. He's going to hit it. Wild, wild and wide. Wild man. David Attenborough needs to have a look at that ball because that was wild. The ball is going out. It was never going to go in. As Italy's hopes. No, not going to do it. So substitution for Italy here. Um, don't recognise this guy because it's raining. They're going to make a substitution, though. I don't know what that substitution is going to be for Italy. It's not Locatelli. It's not Bellotti. It's not Bernadeschi. It's not Berardi. Look at Declan Rice again. As I say, I think Declan Rice, as a carrying of the ball, has been his most ex uh, exciting thing. It's Cristante, who I think will probably come on for... Uh,
Jorginho, maybe. Mancini's... This is what I mean, though. Mancini can't piss about. Eight minutes into the second half, he's got to change it. And it's Barella coming off. And it's Cristante coming on. Barella coming off. Cristante coming on. Well, I'll tell you what, Mark. If I was in charge, I, I, I would get on the phone to Chris Wood. He can be down there at Wembley in about an hour. Because I'll drive him in my jag. And I, I, I'm not bothered about breaking the law. Um, we'll call him Wardino, Wardini, and uh, we'll put a bit of Just For Men on and, uh, and a bit of the old uh, saint Tropez tan and uh, we'll stick him up front and uh, he'll sort that bloody Maguire out in stones, I tell you for that. I mean, I don't know why I'd do it, because I'm English, but, uh, you know, I'm not actually English, I'm Burnley. Um, but, yeah, if, if Mancini needs my help, I will get down that motorway in the Jag. I'll have to stop off on the way and get a bit of uh, petrol and a couple of Ginster pasties for uh, Woody, uh, Woodini. Um, but that's the only way they're going to win it. And if they want Tarkovsky, he actually has got an E at the end of his name and could be Italian. That's gonna. I'm going to pay for that now. Um, love your Mark, says Andreas. Have you heard the St Maximum song and the Harry Maguire song, says Andreas Wid. Uh, doesn't come to mind at the moment. Uh, cheers for all the content, Mark, says Vita Vihem. Well, England have got a chance to whip across in here. And it's going to be Luke Shaw whipping it in. Can he get a goal and an assist? Can we get a Harry Maguire header? I will say this, 2-0 and it's over. You know, I might be wrong, but 2-0 uh, and it's over. Luke Shaw on the cross. Come on then. Come on. We're singing for England. England. Come on then. Come on then. Luke Shaw on the cross. Vibes crosses in. Maguire's up. Oh, he's balloon headed it again. I told you he's world class at winning headers, but it's 50p head because it's 50. You know, you just don't know where it's going to go. He's won it again and he's had it over. He's world class at winning headers, though. Absolutely world class. Love's got the world in motion and I can't believe it's true. Oh, we've got an overlap here. Work, Sterling. Work, work, work. Don't let Chiesa get on his left foot. Oh, shit. Insigne. Pickford. Oh, that was a bit of a bit of a moment there. It was a ridiculous angle to score from. Got to be careful. Got to be careful here. See what I mean, though? If Italy score, the momentum of this game is gone. This is the danger when you're 1-0 up. You're, 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 you know, you're strong when you're winning. You concede a goal and the momentum all goes to Italy and England's head drop. It's, it's a precarious situation. It's thin ice. It's very thin ice. And we are moving back. And I did say, watch the first 15 minutes of the second half and you'll see what's going to happen. And I think England are starting to just drop their tempo a little bit. They're just inviting Italy on a little bit. And I think, you know, Italy have got to go for it, but we've got to up the tempo. We've got to up it, we've got to up it a little bit more. Get Hendo on, says Marcello. This is a back exercise, don't worry. It's not a cry for help. Thanks everyone for tuning in, by the way. We've got 10,000 likes on the video. Unbelievable, uh, unbelievable um, tension at the moment. I mean, I, look, I'm fully aware there'll be a lot of people watching, pleading for Italy to score. It's on a knife edge. I'd like to see a fresh pair of legs in that midfield. I think Rice and Phillips have done very well, but, you know, somebody who can just, you know, full, a full tank of petrol. Fresh tyres, whatever analogy you want. But this is, you know, I think Rice and Phillips mount probably a little bit like Lewis Hamilton after 30 laps. He's probably probably need a pit stop, you know, some fresh tyres. And I think that's that's what's needed. You've got to pump it up, don't you know? Pump it up, you've got to pump it up. I want Italy to win, but I think England have got this as JP Games. Don't tell me that. I think the hardest thing with this situation is knowing you're half an hour away from watching something you've never seen before. From watching an England team walking around Wembley with a trophy. I mean, oh... 
it just makes it makes me my head go and it's knowing that you could be you you, you, you know you will always be in this position where for an hour we had it won um it's it, it's a head mess it's a head mess really um uh, come on England, bring it home and give Europe a damn good thrashing. Cheering you all on from Scotland here, says Ark Royal. Thanks for the super chats, by the way. Um, I do feel that Italy are going to create a chance. I think if I'm Southgate, I'm like, I'm not liking this. It's not that Italy have got a high tempo, it's just that we're sitting back. We're sitting back and inviting the pressure. And it's too long to go. Too long in the game to go for a, to be parking the bus on the edge of the box. You know, at some point they're going to start putting. Chiellini up front and stuff like that. You can't sit out for half an hour. You've got to actually have something. You've got to have something there to hurt them. And I and I think that that for me, we're hitting our, we're hitting an hour now. Rashford could work in this game, Jonathan. I said it's at half time. The way the game is, Rashford in the second half could work. Just something on the break, a bit of pace, push that Italian defence back a bit. Where's she going? I thought she was going to stand on the table there. Bit early. Love's got the world in motion and I can't believe it's true. We're singing for England. England. We're singing the song. We're cheering for England. England. A river dirty, it's one on one. That's the song tonight because it's got a bit of Italian in it. What does Arrivederci mean? I think it means goodbye. Don't stop believing. Hold on to that feeling. Nothing's gonna stop us. Nothing's gonna stop us. Ooh, all that I need it. I'm not. I'm, I'm going to stop. It's nerves. I sing when I'm nervous. England swings like a pendulum, do says Will Roberts. Yeah, I'm not massively enjoying this at the moment, but because I just think there's too lot. If, if we're in the 81st minute, I'm like fine. We're in the 61st minute. Interestingly enough, I think that was Rashford running there. I'm not sure on the sideline. Henderson will be coming on. Lovely run by Chiesa. Block the shot, for fuck's sake. Block the shot. Oh, what a save by Pickford. Block the bloody shot. Who's letting him shoot on his right foot? Who is letting him shoot on his right foot there? That is a joke. Don't let him shoot on his right foot. Just stand on that side so he can't do it. What a save by Pickford. What a save by Pickford. That is magnificent because Chiesa can hit a ball. That is magnificent. He's he's earned his uh, he's earned his stripes there. That is a great save by Pickford. He's got a massive oh that is brilliant. That is a really good save because that is that is that is Chiesa. That's a goal really. That is a goal. That's a goal saving ta uh, uh, goal saving save there. Big save at a big time. But as I said, we've got half an hour to go. They've had a chance there. Lovely ball here. Go on then. We'll have a corner there, ref. Yep, we'll have a corner. Brilliant ball by Luke Shaw. Good pressure by Mason Mount. Get it up the other end and win a corner. Chiesa, would, I think Chiesa would work well in the Prem. You know, I think this, I think this second half's been very equal. I think the first half, England had control. Second half, it's becoming more equal. You would expect that. Italy are in a final. They're losing 1-0. They've, they've got to be more progressive, and England are going to try and protect what they've got. It's becoming quite equal. But I, I think England just need to be a bit careful that that doesn't swing more towards Italy, Italy dominance in the next half an hour. We're playing ourselves into danger, says Owen Stanley. We clear and just hoof forward and keep coming back. Need an out ball. Very rare you can fend like this for half so long. Yeah. Could do it. Could do with a goal from this corner. Oh, corner ref. Donnarumma tipped it over the bar. John Stones, another corner won by England, and uh, Stones gets up and doesn't head it. That's twice. That's Stones twice in this tournament. Should have scored from a corner. I think he shouldered it. Come on, get on the end of this one. 
Cross comes in again from Trippier. Headed away that time. Chiellini and Benucci will not have liked the fact that they've given up there. Southgate and his tactics prove that the armchair critics who want beautiful football need a lot to learn. Kudos to Southgate, says Rams. I don't think anyone gives a shit about that comment, Rams, to be honest with you, if we win the game. I, I mean, I think we've played very well tonight. Very well. I'm, I'm intrigued about what Southgate's going to do for subs, though. You've got to make them. You can't not make them in a game like this. Well, then again, Oli didn't do it in the Europa League final, did he? He might not make any subs. Luke Shaw with a lovely ball again. Donnarumma's seen the danger that time, quick off his line. Not really seeing Sterling and Mount on the ball much in this second half. That would worry me a little bit about if I was Luke Shaw. Get the second goal. This game's over. Get the second goal. Get the old champers in the freezer. Chill it. It's over. You know, we're going to be popping the champagne at uh, around 10 o'clock. But um, got to get that second goal. Otherwise, it's going to be tiring. And look, I think the press is stopping. I think the tempo is slowing down. I think they're passing through our lines a little bit better. I still don't think Italy are, are playing anywhere near the tempo we played in the first half. But we're slowing down. Corners just need a light touch would make it in, says Jonathan Manson. De Natalie trying to take on Luke Shaw. Is it De Natalie? Can't see. Eyes aren't great on that one. Apologies. Tension. I can feel it coming in the air tonight. Well, I can feel it coming, but we're not we're not close to uh, lift off yet. It can happen. It is coming, but we're far from there. Chiesa, look at how Chiesa is wandering onto that right hand side. That's a delightful cross. It's a delightful header by Harry Maguire on the back post as well. Again, that why are we showing Chiesa onto the right foot all the time? Do we not realise Chiesa's right-footed? Every time. I've got to tweet that. It's ridiculous. Cross for, oh, it's a corner for Italy. Flick. Makes you want to throw up. It makes you want to throw up. Fucking useless. What a crap goal to concede. Not not in a fight. And this is why, this is why I said it. This is why I said it. I said, don't start counting your chickens. Because that is a shitty goal to concede. Absolute wankers at the back. I told you. What did I say? Benucci or Cialini from across. That's all they're going to do. How do we not clear this? It's a crap corner. There's so many times we could have dealt with Pickford. Oh, it's a shitty goal. There's three times there where we could stop that. Three times. Stones, what's he doing? Mount on the back post. Pickford, front post. There's four times we could have stopped that goal. Four times. That is that is a crappy goal to concede in a final. That's switch off. And we've switched off at half time. That is a crap, crap goal to concede from England. Told you, didn't I? The thing is, momentum will change now. England's mindset, they'll think, well, let's keep a clean sheet like we have all tournaments apart from a free kick. The momentum is now with Italy, I'm afraid. What have we done in this second half? For 20 minutes, we've just sat back. He's got to change it. He has to change it because we're sitting back now. We've been sitting back for ages. Now Italy have got the momentum and this game is swinging. And now Italy coming forward with Emerson and England looking lost now. England looking in trouble now. Italy suddenly in control. And it's Chiesa. Chiesa, he won the corner. Delightful cross again. Man of the match at the moment. Pickford should have saved it. Stone shouldn't have fell on his arse. Mount should have dealt with it on the back post. And I don't know who was on the front post. Trippier on the front post. 
Mount on the back post, Stones and Pickford. Fucking useless. We, we had four opportunities to stop that goal and nobody does the job. That's football. I told you. It's all right. John Stones, it's all right. Clapping everybody. You're the twat who fell on his arse. Like, I don't, I don't think clapping's going to do anything when you're not doing your fucking job. You had a free header at the other end and you fell on your arse at the other end. It could be 2-0 if you were doing your job. Just lack of concentration really annoys me. It's such a shitty goal to concede. Literally, city. Shitty goal to concede. But I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I'm, I'm angry. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not digging out John Stones. I'm not getting him making it about club football. But what I'm saying is that we've been shit second half. We've tried to park the bus and it's come back and bit us. And now Italy have got all the momentum. I tell you what, I'm worried. I'm worried now. What, 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 what are we doing? 20 minutes to go. He's going to bring Saka on. Got, got to change it. England shell shocked. Uh, need to get in the subs. Yep, yeah, Satch, I agree. Get Henderson on. Get Henderson on now. We've lost that midfield battle. The back five is no longer working. Are we going to... Trippier's coming off. Yeah, we're going four at the back. Good idea. Yeah, back four. Good idea. We need. I don't disagree with Saka being on because we need some pace. Italy have gone three at the back. Emerson's basically playing as a left winger now. Okay, now I tell you what, a long night ahead. Look at Kane again. Fucking pass the ball for God's sake! Stop taking people on when there's a five-yard pass in front of you. All bloody game, Kane and Sterling and Mount. They're taking people on when there's a five-yard pass forward in front of you. One, two. Pass the ball instead of taking people on. For fuck's sake, Harry Kane. What's that all about? It's been happening all game. Why did he, why didn't he pass that to Sterling? Why has he got to take somebody on? It's bizarre. It's been happening all bloody game. Sterling's doing it. Kane's doing it. Mount's doing it. Pass the bloody ball. I think Grealish might be coming on. <sighs> Penalty shootout at the moment. I did say 2-1 England though. That's better by Saka. That's lovely by Saka. Now make the run. Eek. Not enough weight on that. Pass Harry! Harry, switch on you. The bloody captain of the team. Stop pratting about. Trying to take people on and underweighting your passing. You're the captain of the bloody team. What's he doing? That should have been in. That should have had another five yards on the pass for Zaka, for Saka to run into. I'm worried. There could be a winner here for Italy. What what a, what a damp squib that would be. Oh no, it's Henderson coming on. It's going with Henderson, not Grealish. Uh, I agree with this substitution. I agree with it. I think uh, either Phillips or Rice. Oh, for fuck's sake. That could have been a goal. Berardi over the top. England all over the place at the moment. Declan Rice comes off. Henderson comes on. <sighs> Second goal and Italy, Italy will shut up shop. This is the contrarian. Welsh pub atmosphere completely changed now. This is 58. Mate, I, look, 
I know there's a lot of people out there who want England to lose. I, 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 you know, it can, it can happen. It can be an exciting night for you as well. At the moment, the goldometer would go probably 65% towards Italy scoring. We've got to change this game in the next five minutes because Italy are just swarming all over us now. Oh, get a bloody tackle in for some god almighty. It's worrying. Who did Berardi come on for? Because Chiesa's still on. Did he take uh, Immobile off for Berardi? Yeah, he did. He's um, he's put Berardi on the right, Chiesa on the left, and Insigne through the middle. Fucking hell. What the hell is Mount still doing on the pitch? Says Mark. Yeah, yeah. I think at this point you're probably right about Mount. We can't get out. We can't get out here. Cannot get out. Is um. We're heading towards extra time. Which way do you think it's going to go, everybody? I think, I think, I think, I think, it, I think football, you should always look at football in relation to the sway of the game. The second half, I don't think Italy have been great in the second half. They've had possession. I don't think they've been great. I don't think they've been as good as we were in the first half. The goal is a shitty goal to concede. They deserve they deserve to be one one, but I don't think they've played fantastically well. I just think England. I think England. England's heads have gone. They, they this is it. This is what this is the problem, isn't it? One nil up. They think they're going to win it. Second half, we've tried to we've tried to park this bus, and we've lost all momentum now. Too early. I don't know what's wrong with him. And now Italy have got the momentum. They've got the ball. I mean, Jorginho is now running the show. We just can't get the ball. Second half, we had it. First half, we had it. Now we can't get it. I tell you what, I think we might be seeing something bad coming in here in the next 15 minutes. It's worrying. It's. I mean, I, I, I'm, I'm scared to, scared to think what is... Uh, what possession stats would be at the moment for Italy because it's absolute domination of the ball. And what you know, what's the game plan, everybody? What is the game plan here? We're not winning. This is like we're losing. This is like we're winning. We're playing like we're winning. What, what what are we doing here? They're just passing the ball about. What are we doing here in the last couple of minutes? They're taking their piss. They're taking the piss. They're just they're just knocking the ball side to side. We can't get the ball. Now we've got it. And Harry Kane again refuses the simple pass. Why does he have to take somebody on every fucking time? What is he doing? Why does why does Harry Kane refuse the simple pass every bloody time? We need a spark. We need Grealish as Jack Brown. I don't know what it is about Harry Kane tonight. What? Why every time does he get it after trying to spin somebody? Just pass the bloody ball. We can't get hold of the ball. Keep the bloody ball. Oh, that's a crap pass by Phillips. What are you doing there? Calm down. We need to keep hold of the ball here. The crowd don't mean anything at the moment because England look shell-shocked. Another foul there. Ref, you need to start putting some yellows out here. You need to start putting out some red yellows here because they're just chopping us down all the time and there's no reason for them not to do it. Start putting out some yellow cards. Need to switch on, says Matt. Oh. It must have been love, but it's over now. 
bloody tense, I tell you that. Priv, Priv says shut up, Mark. You know what you could do, Priv? You could just leave and then I will shut up because no one's asking you to watch it. Bloody idiot. Cross comes in. England just can't do anything at the moment. Verratti will take a tumble here if you take him out. Well in by Saka and then he loses it and now it's Italy on the break. Go on, have him. Oh, for God's sake, Kyle Walker. Oh, for God's sake, what are we doing? Jesus Christ, what are we doing? Ten minutes to go. Chiesa's gone down. I don't know whether he has actually hurt himself here. Let's have a look. Chiesa. I don't, I don't really see a foul there, to be honest. Uh, please subscribe, by the way, bottom right-hand corner. Chiesa's down injured here. He's really in pain, or he's faking it. Oh, probably needed a rest. Southgate needs to earn his bloody dollar here. Italy have got the momentum. Uh, yeah, I think Harry Kane's been poor tonight. Let's hope some of those leadership qualities can... I mean, the thing about Harry Kane is he can win you the game in a moment. I'm not saying to take uh, Harry Kane off, but... Um, I mean, Mason Mount's still on the pitch, incredibly. I I I've not noticed Mount much in this half. Ten minutes to go. Disappointing. Let's have a look at this happening in the chat in, in the uh, Paddy Park. Nerves are rumbling around, as you can see. I would have brought on Henderson and Sancho after the Italian goal. Currently, I don't see how England can score. We've got no output up front, says Sean O'Riordan. And uh, Zane says, we shall fight on the beaches. We shall fight on the landing grounds. We shall fight in the fields and in the streets. We shall fight in the hills. We shall never surrender. I think at the moment, games can ebb and flow. But at the moment, the flow is with Italy. I think for the first half, it was with England. I think for the second half, it's with Italy. And I think that uh, Chiesa might be coming off here. Which... If he is, that's a that's a positive for England because Chiesa has been their best player in this second half. I don't know whether he is coming off or he is. Bernadeschi looks like he's going to come on. Yeah, he's gone. That's a, that's bad luck for Chiesa because he's he's been their best player. I don't know whether he's coming on or not. He's desperate to play on. Maybe he's not coming off. Oh, yeah, this will go to penalties now. This will go to penalties now. Just, just sod's law, isn't it? The trouble is, whatever happens, if Italy go on win this, we'll sit here for the next 18 months going, we actually had this game won. What if? What if we hadn't have made, four players hadn't have made a mistake on that cross? <clears throat> What if we hadn't sat back so much? It's very hard to switch the tempo on and off. It's nice control by Mount on the left. Is Mount into the box. He needs to cut it back. Oh, for fucking hell's sake. That needed to go to Jordan Henderson on the edge of the box. And it's the simplest pass Mason Mount will ever play. And for some reason, he just didn't fancy it. It was on all sorts of space, Hendo, on the edge there. I don't know why that didn't go there. I don't know. Did everything right apart from the final ball. At least we're having a bit of possession. Bit of possession, as uh, Suhas says. Yeah, we've got to keep the bloody ball, mate. A bit of possession is really important for England here. Here's Saka. Nice to Phillips. That's a foul. 
Chance to put a cross into the box. Get your head on it, Harry. Oh, I feel sick. Insigne gets the yellow card. Um, I will be live on Twitch tonight. Um, will it be a party? Will it be a... Well, I'll front up. If we lose, I'll front up and I'll do a Twitch chat on Goldbridge TV about 11 o'clock tonight if we lose. If we win, it'll be a bit, little bit later than that because I've got a party. But, um, you know, there won't be much of a party if we lose. Mount's had a poor Euro, says Vash. Yeah, I mean, I like Mount, but he's just it's never really got going for him, has it? Need to pass and move, says Dalgit. I, I, I like Mount. I, I probably just would take him off for Grealish. Mount with the cross. Stones doesn't win the first ball. Sterling needs to win the second ball. Oh, come on, Luke. Seriously? I know you scored in the first half, but that's a waste, mate. That's a goal kick. Keep the ball. We can't be shooting on the half folly from 25 yards out. Bernadeschi is coming on. Chiesa is coming off. We're heading towards extra time. Croatia all over again, says uh, Mark Fried. Yeah, I'd forgot about that. We scored first in that game. Need a lucky break in the next 10 minutes, says Jonathan Manson. Mate, can you imagine if this goes... What? Can you imagine if this goes to penalties? Can you imagine if this goes to penalties? I mean... Pfft. Jesus, no, I can't do that. If there is one game Sterling should come off, it's this one, says Jay. I think there's certain players Southgate will... I'm doing Italian things, look, I'm using the hand. I think there's certain games that at, um, Southgate will not take... There's certain players Southgate will not take off. Raheem Sterling, Harry Kane. And I don't think he likes taking Mason Mount off either, so... But Grealish can't come on now because he's using Mount in the midfield. So he can't, he can't take he can't bring Grealish on anymore because to bring Grealish on, he would basically have to take Saka off because he would never take off Harry Kane or Raheem Sterling. So he can't bring Grealish on now because um, Mount is playing in the midfield. Uh, Case is gone. Mark, who would you bring on? Says Mark Friedman. <sighs> I would bring Grealish on for Mount. I'd, I'd find a way to do it. I think you, you, you've got to do it. I mean, look at Italy. They're going for it. They're basically they've got a streaker on the pitch now. Fuck off, you fucking idiot. Jog on, mate. Bloody hell. We're playing five minutes to the end of a bloody Euros game. It's not even funny. I don't care whether you're running around naked. Jog on. What an idiot. I mean, there's a time and a place for a streaker and it ain't the last five minutes of a Euros final. Ban him from football for life. I mean, I think sometimes they're funny, but come on. Nobody's in for that. Nobody's in for that. That's just stupidity. It really is. What a prat. Do you think any of the players appreciate that? First couple of minutes, they might laugh at it and make, calm them down. Do you think any of them appreciate that in the last five minutes? What a knobhead. Some people think it's funny. I'm glad you do. I think it's idiotic. I think it's stupid. You know, this is actually a massive game for both teams. I see, I tell you what I would have found funny if Harry Maguire had slide tackled the Pratt. That, that would have made me laugh. Yeah, that, that would have made me really laugh. But... Uh, it's going to penalties. Oh, mate, I can't tell you. I presume there's a lot of people feeling like me. The tension. We could cut it. I still feel Italy are in control here. England's first step is to get it back to being 50-50. At the moment, it's still, you know, I think the, first, the next goal is going to Italy. England need to get it to swing that pendulum back from Italy to level. And then see if they can get it back in their favour because Sterling's done well there. Run it, run it, Raheem. Run it, Raheem. Nah, it's gone. Goal kick. Good run, though. That's what he can do. And we haven't seen enough of that against that Italian centre backs. We haven't seen enough of Raheem doing this. You know, running at their defence. Yep, 
You could play Sterling as the false nine. He's never going to take Harry Kane off, though. Sentimentality or not, he'll never do it. I'm done with Southgate. Hasn't bought Grealish on. Well, I'm going to tweet that. Should have been a corner, that. Should have been. Um, anyway, we're about to hit the 90th minute. Whatever you do, don't go. Neither team. What a great tackle by Phillips. Hey, Harry Kane just isn't mobile enough for a game like this, is he? He's... Sterling, that's got to be a foul. He's not giving it. Fucking not giving it. And if you get caught on the break. Well, in Phillips. And it's an England throw. Well done. Shut up, Bernadeschi. That's the trouble when you run the ball. If you lose it, like Sterling does there, they're on the break. But the, the positive thing over the last two minutes is that we have utilised Sterling better. Get him running at their defence. Oh, come on. Ref doesn't want to give fouls at the moment. Keep the ball. Raheem Sterling, go on. He's done well. He's done very well. He's given a foul. Six minutes, bloody hell. Six minutes of stoppages here. The Goldbridge stand. We need to have a bit of a stand here. You do. We need to have a bit of a stand. Stretch that back out. Oh. It's horrible. It's you know what it, you know what I feel like? It's like you don't know whether you're going out with the lads or not. You don't know whether you're going out for the best night of your life or not. It might happen. You might be staying in watching EastEnders. You just, you're on the verge of something that is going to be the best night ever. And we just don't know. Harry Maguire, is he going to win it? He does win it on the back post, but oh, now Italy will bring it away. He'll give a foul there on Jordan Henderson. Get back into position. Play to the whistle. Play to the whistle. Calm down. Calm yourself down. Mancini's getting angry. Good. I'm all for that. I like Mancini. You know, this matters. It really matters. Proper matters. Oh. I feel... Like England have worked their way back into this game. I don't think we're in control of it, but I feel that in the last since the substitutes have come on, Henderson and Saka, we've allowed ourselves to get back into the game. It's more equal. I don't feel like Italy have got the momentum anymore, but that doesn't mean Italy won't score. Look at that by Insigne. Wow, he didn't actually. Lovely play. Go on, Saka. Keep that. Keep it. Oh no, Chiellini ain't gonna take any prisoners there. But I feel we've got back to 50-50. But that still means Italy can win it. But I think we've got back into it better than we were after that Italian goal. They were they were, they were looking like they were going to go and win it. So the changes have actually worked. We're fighting our way back into this game. Lovely header there. Look at that. So that's world class by Benucci. To do, to, long ball by Pickford and he just lets it go off the back of his head so he can head it back to Donnarumma. That's what you're up against, people. Experience, quality, you know. Oh, God. Where's it going to end? Is there a sting in the tail? Is there a devastating winner for Italy at the end? England tackling well, but Italy on the ball here. We've seen a bit of that before. Look how high Italy are pushing for it. Italy want it as well. Chiellini's pushing up. They, they want this game. They've passed it better in this second half. Much better than England. Three minutes to go of stoppage time. I scratched the family jewels during every England win so far. I think I found my new lucky charm. 2-1 to England, says Michael Thackeray. Oh, God. You know, now I just want extra time. I don't want Italy to score in the last two minutes. Go with the runner. Go with the runner. A 
Does Southgate make another sub? Might not get a chance to, but... Um, was Saka the right sub, says Salah Ahmed? Well, he's made a good interception there. Oh, man, what's that? What's that? I mean, Harry Kane has had a crap second half, hasn't he? He'll just never be subbed, but he's had a crap game, Harry Kane. Do you take Kane off? I'd take him off. I mean, if his name wasn't Harry Kane and he wasn't the captain of the team, I think everyone would be saying get him off. Oh, here we go. Berardi. Decent cross. Oh, Kyle Walker. <sighs> Calm as you like off his chest. This is just not a game. This is this ain't going to work. Long balls out the back. Mason Mount looks tired. Harry Kane's ineffective. Italy back on the ball. I mean, we, we, I spoke about England getting back into the game. I don't think we have now. I think the last three or four minutes, it's Italy now. Jorginho going for a killer pass. Maguire wins that every day of the week. Again, we're just hitting long balls now. Long balls against Chiellini and Benucci. You're having a laugh. You're having a laugh. What, what are we doing? Good tackle by Saka. Work, work. We can't, we can't win anything here. Oh, ref! Bloody hell! You cheating shit, Chiellini. He's not going to get a red, is he? He's going to get a yellow, but that was, he was in then. He was bloody in then. Look at the crowd reaction. He was in then. St Saka's in. Fuck here now. I mean, it can't be a red, but it's that's that's appalling. That is. That is a it's one of them. I, I mean, it's it's never a red. You can't say anything more. But it's a shame. Right, well, Renez will blast this into the box. It's probably going to be the last kick of the game, and then we're going to extra time. Phillips, what the fucking hell was that? What the fucking hell was that? Bloody hell. Southgate is a coward. Uh, Ollie, in, like Ollie, in-game management is important, says John. I don't think Southgate's a, I don't think Southgate's a coward. Um, I don't feel he's a coward. I just think he's backed himself into a corner where he will not take off. Um, he won't take off one of the two players that he, one of the three players he needs to take off. Either Mount Kane or Sterling have got to come off. Yeah, you've you've got to deliver Jack Grealish into this game. You've got to give him a chance in this game. He won us the game against Germany, and you've got to give him a chance. But you know, I think he's backed him. I think I think Southgate's willing to take willing to make substitutions to a point, but then he's not willing to take off certain players, um, and. He will not take off Kane or Sterling. And he doesn't seem to want to take Mason Mount off. But, you know, um, I mean, somebody just said he's already taken Mason Mount off. Well, if he has, fair play. But I don't think he has because Henderson came on for, no, Trippier for Saka, Henderson for Rice. Mount's still on the pitch. So, but one of those three players needs to come off, but he won't do it. He just won't do it. Um, and it doesn't look like he's going to do it either. Yeah. The camera goes to Jack Grealish, and it's like he must be he must be gutted. He must be gutted, Grealish. The cam the cameras know, the pundits know, the fans know. Where is the momentum? The momentum is with Italy at the moment. Wrong subs. Mountain Phillips off for Henderson and Grealish as Man United 84. Where is the momentum at the moment? It's with Italy. Um, and that is the problem here. Um, Rashford's not going to get involved, is he? I mean, I know you shouldn't do it. But if I was Jack Grealish... I would say to Southgate, come on, come on, 
And if he says to me, I'm the boss, I'm in charge, I'd say, come on, just get me on the pitch, I'll win you the game. I don't think Harry Kane's performed. I don't think, I think Mount's had a good night, not, not, not a good 90 minutes, but he's put a shift in. You've got to give him a chance. You've got to give Grealish a chance. It's a big if, but if we lose this, got to get him on got to do it if whoever is chatting to you there it's got to be about how do we get jack Grealish onto this pitch it's not easy it's not easy i mean look at the goal we concede there's four times i mean is stones not fouled by cialini as well watch this back do you think stones gets fouled by cialini stones and mounts no probably not i don't think it was i just think it's weak by stones I mean, at the end of the day as well, Mount gets beaten to the ball by Verratti. Verratti's no bigger than Bilbo Baggins. That is poor by Mason. You know, Mason Mount there. I mean, I think Pickford should do better. But bloody hell, Mason Mount's been beaten to the ball by bloody Bilbo Baggins. A hobbit. Verratti ain't big. It's a shocking goal to concede, I'm afraid. It really is. Extra time. Extra time. I don't think it was a red on Cialini. Not a red for me. It was a. It was a. It was a unsportingsman's. Uh, it was an unsporting free kick. And you know, you you as a, the thing about that is you you gain no you gain no advantage. He's literally pulled Saka on the floor, who would have been running through. In a 2v2 situation, you're nowhere near the goal, so the free kick's not beneficial. The yellow card's not beneficial. It's just one of those things with the game. It's not. It's never a red by the laws. You'd have to change the laws. But um, Italy making another sub here. Belotti's coming on. Lots of subs. We've only made two. Only made two subs. Can England, uh, Insigne's gone off for Belotti. I, I actually would rather Insigne come off. He's a, he's a hard hard player to deal with because he's quick and he's small. So Belotti should be easier for Stones and Maguire to deal with, although he's fresh. United are at Europa all over again. Pfft, mate, I can't, I, can't have, I can't be getting deja vu again. We can't be doing this again. Use the bench, says Greg. Yeah, use Grealish, mate. Please do. You have to stick Grealish on to Chiellini. No subs again, says Jordi. Please subscribe, by the way. Bottom right-hand corner, one click. You're very welcome on That's Football. Thanks, everyone, for tuning in. We've done every game as a watch-along, and here we have England, who, for an hour, were winning the trophy. For half an hour, it's 1-1. We're not winning this trophy. What's going to happen in extra time? I mean, at least I feel a little bit more relaxed because we're not. The next kick's not going to lose the game. There's still time. What a wet wipe Southgate doing, says Robbo. And if England lose, it's on Southgate. Subs are vital, says John. As I said, I mean, I 100% agree that the subs should be made, but I, I, I can also, I can see, I can't understand why, but I know why. He doesn't want to take Harry Kane off. He doesn't want to take Sterling off. And he doesn't want to take Mason Mount off. So he's backed himself into a corner because he can't do it. Henderson's just been caught in the face by Emerson. I don't think it'll be a red card. I think he's just caught him. Yeah, it's nothing, nothing red. It's just uh, an obstruction by Emerson. Well, it could, have been a it could be a yellow card. He just stand right in front of him. The trouble with taking Mason Mount off is Mason Mount's playing as a midfielder. Jack Grealish isn't really a midfielder, and that's probably what what he's thinking about. Look at where Mason Mount is on the pitch. He's playing in a midfield three. 
The attacking positions are Sterling, Kane and Saka. That's where you need Jack Grealish. That's why he's not bringing him on. He won't bring him on because he's got to take Saka or Kane off to do it. You're not going to put Jack Grealish in a midfield three. That's why he won't do it. So if you want to take Mason Mount off, you're probably going to bring Jude Bellingham on. If you want to bring Rashford on, you've got to take Sterling or Kane off. If you want to bring Grealish on, you've got to get Sterling or Kane off. And he won't do it. Because it's Harry Kane and it's Raheem Sterling. He, he, he doesn't want to do it. And it's a bit like, you know, it's, it's like asking Ollie to take off uh, Bruno or Rashford. He, he, he doesn't he want to do it, whether they're playing good or not. This game is crying out for Rashford. Chile and, and Benucci have an age, combined age of 87. And if we go to penalties, he's proven under pressure, says Sean Atwood. Well, here's Mason Mount. Look, I, I don't really care if we make... I, I would make the subs, but can we find our way, to, you know, into this game? Otherwise, we're drifting to penalties. How has he not made another sub? We look tired, says Salah Ahmed. Even Phillips for Bellingham's not a bad idea, is it? You know, you know, we're all talking about... I mean, it's, Italy are on their what? How many subs is that for Italy? Italy on their fifth sub. We've made two. They're trying to win it. Looks like we're playing for penalties. Don't get it. Don't get it. Five substitutions Italy have made. Ollie is not the manager. <sighs> Southgate, are you mad? Doesn't matter who they are. It's what's best for the team. For years, we've done the whole keeping names on for namesakes. And where did that get us, says Robbo? I can't see. Is it Calvert-Lewin coming on for England? No, that's an Italian player, isn't it? Bloody hell. I was thinking England were playing in blue. It's, it's, it's Locatelli. Thing is, the thing is, I wouldn't mind if we weren't making subs if we were controlling the game, but we're not controlling the game. We haven't controlled the game since the first half. It's crying out for substitutes. Absolutely crying out for it. Mark, I'm not English, but surely this brand of football is not good. So boring. Italy's a known bet for this, but not England, says Sharath Kamath Fitness. Here we go. Henderson. Nice ball. Sterling. Attack the box. Attack the box. What? Ah, he's bloody shite, that is. He's lucky he gets a corner there. The cross was the crappiest crop cross I've ever seen. It may as well have been a plank of wood. It was nothing like a cross. Look, look at this cross from Sterling here. It's absolutely shit. It's not going anywhere near where it needed to go. It's all right put, putting a smile on your face, mate. It was nowhere near. The angle on that cross was going straight to Donnarumma. Verratti comes off. Locatelli comes on. Well, Verratti had a big part to play in the goal. Uh, mate, I can't I can't look at the chat anymore for about subs, subs. If we win it on penalties, this will all be forgotten. But if we lose this game, it will, it will be about the lack of substitutions. And I think we all know that. This will be the final where Southgate did a soul shot and didn't use his subs if we don't win. We've got to win this game. If he's not going to make the subs, he's got to win it. Not even getting on the end of corners now. Phillips, don't shoot, mate. Oh, it was close. Why is England playing like there is a second leg, says Angie. <laughs> it feels like we're playing for penalties, man. Oh, I'm even saying man now. That's how frustrated I am. He's overthinking it, says Serge. I tell you what he's doing. He's terrified of taking Harry Kane off because it might go to penalties. He's terrified of taking Raheem Sterling off because he's direct.com. England strength is supposed to be our depth. No subs, says Mike LFC. Well, the sad thing is, Foden's not on the bench anyway, but he wouldn't have used him. Um, right, Grealish is coming on here. What's he going to do? Grealish is coming on. He's got to do it. 
Grealish coming on. Get him in. Just get your kit on. Quick. He's got his arm stuck in his jumper. Get it off. Cut it out. We've only got 23 minutes. Oh, here we go. Italy. <sighs> well away, Harry. That's a foul, ref. Oh, goes for a throw in. Ref, that's a foul on Harry Maguire. I suppose the only good thing is Italy's not had a... Grealish, get your trousers off. Come on. Mrs. Grealish with a Manchester United top. Doesn't quite work, but there you go. Would I prefer golden goal? I prefer any goal. Golden, silver, bronze, wooden. I'll take any goal at the moment, as long as it's scored by England. Oh, Stones. Oh, they're going to get a corner. Catch it, Pickford. Well done. Stones has been a bit dodgy today, hasn't he? Had that chance from a corner where he shouldered it. He was at fault for the goal as well. He's looked a bit shaky, Stones. I don't watch enough of him. I mean, he had a very good season for Man City, but I, I don't watch enough of him, so no. That's a moving ball. Right, free sub, here we go. Mounts off. Grealish is on. Should have happened a long time ago. Not looking good, is it? I haven't smoked in 15 years. I feel like one now. Grealish is on. The crowd's reacting in the, fan, in the paddy part. Look. Is he going to be the saver? saviour? Can he do it? He won't take Harry Kane off. He won't take Harry Kane off. And he won't take Sterling off. I, I, I don't know why people think he would do that. He won't do it. What are we doing here? Luke Shaw's got it. Go on, Luke. Weird cross. Kane. Loose ball. Phillips. That's a foul ref. It's right in front of you. There's no advantage. Why is he not given the foul? Referee. What's he giving an advantage there when you've got a free kick on the edge of the box? Come on, mate. What? There's no advantage there. Go back for the bloody free kick. Nobbed. So England have made three subs. I still think maybe Bellingham would be a good sub. My sister's watching, says, we're watching and I know you believe. Well, you've got to keep believing. Don't stop believing. It's not over till it's over. You've got to keep believing. Don't stop. I'm not singing anymore. That, that didn't work when we were winning. Yellow cards for both their centre-backs, apparently. Here's Grealish with space. Run at him. He's on a bloody yellow card, Jack. No, he can't. He's got, they're not stupid. Saka. Oh, fucking hell. That's where you want Jack Grealish running at their back four. Oh, Saka. Just a heavy touch. Otherwise, he'd have been running at one of those slow centre-backs. Just a Mustang girl. She's not a Mustang girl. Come on. I got... No, not singing. <sighs> what? Is there throwing? We've been very lethargic, haven't we? We've been very lethargic, everybody. I tell you what, it's the biggest fear, a penalty shootout. And you know what? It's the new frontier for English fans. 
It's the new frontier of losing a final on penalties. You know, it used to be semi-finals. But I'll tell you what would be even better than lose. I'll tell you what's, what's more self-serving than losing semi-finals. Let's lose a final. Who do I think wins on penalties, mister? I think Donnarumma's a better goalkeeper than Pickford. So... He's massive, Donnarumma. Like, he's six foot four, isn't he? I think Pickford's what? Six foot one? Six foot two? Was Saka the right sub? I think it was the right tactical change. So I'm not going to criticise the sub, but I probably would have... I mean, I would like to have seen Sancho. Good tackle. Kyle Walker. Oh, no! Emerson with the cross! Pickford! Oh, my Christ. Bloody, I tell you what, if you were going for a winner at the moment, it's going to be Italy. <laughs> oh, that could have been it. I tell you what, I got a goal at this point. Oh, my life. Pickford does a good job there. Bernadeschi's nearly there for a tap in. Thirty-five thousand watching. Thanks for watching. Subscribe bottom right hand corner. I know a lot of you are watching for Italy, but you've got to write. You've got to walk that walk. You know that's football. That's the name of the channel. But that is football. You've got to walk the walk. You've got to put yourself out there. Um, if Italy win it, Italy win it. He's six foot five, Donnarumma. Fucking hell. I hope England win for you, your sake, Mark. But the football is so boring as a neutral. You said Premier League is better than Serie A, but what have England done? First half, Sharath Kmeth Fitness, very happy. Second half, crap. Feel for Calvert Lewin, he'd never do it, but I wouldn't be against chucking him on, says Owen Stanley. Yep. Yep. Well, I just tweeted there, keeping Harry Kane on for this long, it's not right. He's he's been he's been so out of the game. He's been a pass, and I love Harry Kane. I think he's a fantastic player. He's the captain of the team, and he's just been a passenger. He really has. And I, th I think I think the way the I think the way the game has gone. I think if Italy were to lose this, there's only one minute. If Italy were to lose this game, they would feel like they'd. I mean, if I was Italian, I'd think I'd feel like going to penalties is almost a failure on their part. That's a foul. Chill out, Luke Shaw will win it on penalties, says Martin. You can be a hero, you can be a villain. Don't stop believing. But I think if England are going to do this, it's going to have to be on penalties. You can't hit the rebound in on the penalty, Lynn. I wish you could. I really, really do. I wish you, I wish you could. Long ball. The trouble is, we just we've created nothing. What's he done? It's a free kick, handball. It's going to be the last kick of the first half, this. Have we got anyone who can take a free kick from 35 yards? No, we're going to cross it. Luke Shaw's going to cross it. It's going to be the last kick of the first half of extra time, this. It's a chance to put a cross in. We need something from that one double left foot, Luke Shaw. I think England have resorted to where we've been for a lot of this tournament now, where we're defensively resolute and we're trying to score goals from set pieces and stuff. Maguire header from a Luke Shaw cross. Oh, if, if ever there was a time. If ever there was a time, it has to be now. Luke Shaw whips it in. He's got too much on that. Donnarumma's going to get it. And I think he's given a foul anyway. An offside. Would you take Harry Kane off? 
Would you take Harry Kane? All right, I'm just going to leg it to the toilet because um, I'll only be about 30 seconds and I need it for penalties. Be back in a mo. Otherwise, I'm going to blow. Have a look at the Paddy Park. How are they doing? I don't know. I can't deal with it. I just can't deal with it. Uh, yeah, I'm back. I'm back. Bloody hell. Um, I did wash my hands, yeah. Rashford's coming on. Um, mate, I'm back in the United Stand for some reason. Uh, Rashford, is he coming on? Um, right, who would Rashford come on for? Raheem Sterling? Saka, maybe? You know, is it fair to get Saka to take a penalty? Sir Marcus Rashford? Always wondered whether Marcus Rashford, not being in the tournament at all, could come on and do something. Um, well, apparently Sancho as well. Well, they've got they've got their tops on. They've got their kit. I think they're ready for sub. I think they're I think they're penalty subs, aren't they? I don't know. Don't know what we're doing there. I need to reset the clock. What are we at? It's difficult, isn't it? It's so difficult now. It's so difficult now because I was given the free kick as well. It's so difficult now. I, th I think England have just basically they're on fumes. And I'm in I'm in that category where I think Italy are the better side. But you're just hoping against hope now. So it's a free kick for Italy from quite far out. Does anybody actually want penalties though? Is there anybody out there that's not a massive England fan that wouldn't want penalties? Or isn't a massive England fan and wouldn't want it to go to penalties? I think this is one of the few finals where I, I would say that nobody really wants penalties because if you don't want England to win, you don't want the lottery of penalties. And if you do want England to win, you don't want the lottery of penalties. So I don't think anybody wants penalties. But uh, this would be a great free kick if he can score it. Oh, Pickford. <sighs> Spills it. But he's up quick. No, I don't think anyone wants penalties. Uh, what was it like being a copper, says Robert? Oh, yeah, I'll, I'll spend the last 10 minutes talking about that. These long balls just haven't worked for England, have they? They've just not worked. Uh, so if he's going to bring Rashford on, I think he's going to do it right at the end of the half as a penalty taker for Saka. 
you just wonder in the next 13 minutes if either team could work a penalty or a heart, you know work a chance that's going to be the thing but for the last hour England have not played well blocked Saka into the box he's still got it Harry Kane cross to the back post Ooh, Donnarumma just gets enough on it. Bernadeschi, Henderson should pick that up. Phillips does. No, he doesn't. Saka does. No, he doesn't. Ref says play on. Come on, England. Little bit, little bit. Oh, what a ball out by Italy there, though. Stick with Bellotti. Run with it. Henderson. Henderson, you've got to run, mate. He's off. He's got to be off. Bellotti, he's got to be off. Luke Shaw clears it. He was off. He was off anyway. Got to keep believing. Got to keep believing. Harry Kane's cross here. Donnarumma came for it. Stones went for it. And oh, he could have got it again. He could have got it again. Italy for the win, says Riyad. Was Southgate a good player? No. He was, was all right. I think Southgate was a modern day. I wouldn't even say he was a John Stones. I, I, don't, I don't know what Gareth Southgate would be. the Connor Cody? Maybe someone like that? It's probably what Southgate was. Am I being a bit harsh? But I, I, I wouldn't say he was a John Stones. I mean, that doesn't mean anything about coaching. Jose Mourinho never played, did he? Uh, I'm resigned to penalties. There's, the, 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 there's a lot of things in your life that you don't want to happen. I don't really want to be in a cage with great white sharks swing, swing around me. And right up there with that, I don't want to watch England playing penalties to win a tournament. I mean, it's bad enough losing a semi-final. It's bad enough losing a quarter-final. It's bad, it's bad enough losing on penalties in any tournament. But imagine losing on penalties and watching the other team go and lift the trophy. That is, we're going to see tears like Gaza. You know, it's going to be tears. And that's just from me. Like, it, 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 it's going to be horrible. I will, I will say this honestly. I would rather... See, I don't... I mean, look. I, 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 here's a lie for you. At this stage, would I rather have penalties or lose to Italy? Of course I wouldn't rather lose to Italy. Because I think, you know, you may as well have a shot at penalties. That's total bollocks. We all say it before the game. I'd rather lose in normal time than go to penalties. Well, that's just pretentious bullshit that I even said myself. Of course I'd rather go to penalties than lose to Italy now, but Grealish has been quiet, but here he is. You've got to go wide there, Jack. Yeah, Sterling. Back into Henderson. Back into Sterling. He's done well. Oh, he's nearly done well. I think Sterling's knackered. Why is he on the pitch? Sterling, to me, just looks tired. Well done, Kyle Walker. He's had a good game. I think Kyle Walker and Shaw have played well. Phillips has played well. Daniel says, please put Sancho on. Here's Jack Grealish. Go on, Jack. Go on, Jack. Lovely ball out wide. Oh, yes, sure, it was yours. It was yours. It oh, for fuck's sake, Luke. Tiredness now. Now Italy want penalties, says Sean Davis. Nine minutes to go. I mean, imagine being subbed on just to take a bloody penalty. Sterling on the right. Come on. Let's work an opportunity here. Is it? Oh, it's a lovely switch of the play. I don't think Greenish can get it. And it's Italy clear it. Italy don't seem to be... Come on, someone's got to come close. Come close. Please put Sancho on. Yeah, we've got that from Daniel. Come on, lads. Daniel Lacey, thanks for the super chat. Once England lose and Southgate is exposed, will people take back the fact they said he proved them wrong and you were happy to play Italy? This is Chris Dalf. Mate, it's not over yet. I, I, I thought first off we played fantastically well. I think the problem is here that managers have loyalties and unfortunately... He will never, ever take Sterling and Kane, Mark Kane off. And that's two of your front three. It's a lovely ball by Kane. 
Sterling again. I mean, Sterling and Kane. Grealish has just been caught here. I don't know what's going on. Grealish has hurt himself. Uh, get walk away by cast ready mark. Shades of 96 here, I'm afraid, says Tyler. Grealish has hurt himself. I don't think a red card's going to help us at this point. It's going to give a yellow. Let's have a look. Jorginho into a 50-50 with Grealish. Well, his, his studs are up. His studs are up on the first one. That's a red card tackle. That's a red card, man. That is a red every day of the week. That is a red every day of the week. That is a joke. Absolute joke. How is VAR not looking at that? In the red, in the prem, that's a red every day of the week. He's got his studs up. It's the most red card you'll ever see. Look at that. He stamps on the fucking ball. You don't tackle like that. He stamps on the ball. It's, 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 just, it's, not, even, it's not even a joke. It's not even a debate. It's right in front of the fucking ref as well. He's staring right at it. It's a bloody red card. I mean, I'm not even joking. If an England player does that, it's a yellow card. Fuck off. It's the best penalty taker as well. Bloody joke. He's their best penalty taker and he shouldn't be on the fucking pitch. Absolute disgrace. Absolute disgrace. I know he wins the ball, but you can't stamp on a football. It's, that's not a tackle. You can't do that anymore. You cannot stamp onto the ball. He stamps, shows his shoulds. That's not a tackle. That is a red. It's a red card. And the Premier League, that's a red. We're brought up on that being a red card. Euros, obviously it's not. Inconsistency again. I think this ref's been shit anyway. He's not giving out enough yellow cards in the first place. You're giving yellow cards out for red cards. You're not giving yellow cards for yellow cards. What is it? The dilution euros. Fucking idiot. Absolute twat. I've just realised Jorginho's on the Italian team as well. I mean, that's one penalty they're not going to miss. Yeah, I think Donnarumma's going to be very good at penalties because he's massive. Jorginho will definitely score one. So the odds are in, are in Italy's favour here. And oh, they're going to be smug if they win it. Well why, well, why wouldn't you be? You know, why wouldn't you be smug if you win it? We'd be smug if we won it. I mean, you can't. I tell you what, though, if Chiellini gives Harry Kane a hug and he doesn't do anything like Alba does, I'll be furious. Don't let those bloody games start to play. Uh, Simo says, Mark is so biased, it's frustrating. Oh, hold on a minute, mate. That that there, it's not It's not because I like Lions. It's because I'm bloody English. I tell you what, don't come at me for being biased. I'm unreservedly biased. I'm fucking English, mate. Of course I want England to win. It's red tinted glasses, whatever you want. I, I will I'll maybe look if I'm neutral looking at that. Maybe maybe it's not a red card, but to be honest with you, I'm uh, well. They're looking at a penalty here, Italy. No, never going to get a penalty for that. His hands into his chest. Thank God for that. We're heading to penalties, everyone. The unravelling of Goldbridge in front of your eyes. This is what happens when you do live content. You expose yourself in a non-illegal way to raw emotion. This ain't scripted. This is real life. Oh, for fuck's sake, ref. How's that not a foul on Grealish? One thing I would say about this referee, he's definitely let the game flow. Oh, man. A penalty shootout to win a final.
Don't stop believing. I tell you what, if England somehow did win a penalty shootout on penalties, obviously you're going to win a penalty shootout on penalties. If if England did win a, a Euros final on penalties, I think we would get rid of any issues with penalties forever. Oh, Sack has been shit. Take him off. You may as well do the sub. We're, we're going to make two subs here for penalties. Sancho and Rashford are coming on. You've got to do the sub at some point, mate. Because if the ball, if, if Italy keep the ball on here and be a, be shit houses, you won't make the subs. If I'm Italy here, I'm keeping the ball. I'm not letting the ball go out because England can't make the subs then. Yeah, the Saka sub hasn't worked, has it? Zach says, if England win on penalties, I'm going to be surprised. Mate, you and me both. I could have just say this before anything happens. Winning a tournament on penalties is, is a horrible way to win. Oh, here we go. Corner for Italy. Fucking hell. 29 minutes, a corner for Italy. We might not even make it that far. Um, eight is coming off for, for 11. You don't make subs on a corner. Henderson. Off. Interesting. We're just going to bring penalty takers on. We need to make them quick, mate. We need to make them very quick. Sancho for Kyle Walker. Well, he's going for penalty takers. <sighs> but Italy could score a corner. <sighs> In comes the corner. Oh my God, right across the face of the goal. And they've got a chance to whip a crossing. Greenish needs to get over here because we've got too many attackers on the pitch. And Phillips clears it. Three minutes. Bloody hell, we've got so many attackers on the pitch here. We could get caught out. We've got Sancho on the pitch, Saka on the pitch, Kane on the pitch, Grealish on the pitch, Rashford on the pitch, Sancho on the pitch. England have got so many attackers on here. It could be a risk. Three minutes we've got to get through. And we've got a team of attackers now. <laughs> well, we're playing for penalties. It's an England throw. Nearly 40,000 watching. Thanks, everyone, for watching. I'm sure we're going to get a lot more watching for this. It's uh, it's not what I want to be. I don't want to be doing that. I mean, I don't want to be doing this. Do not want to be doing this. Oh, God. Can we have an attack? Switch the play. Oh, there was a switch of play on there. Still a minute to go. This is intense, says Vega. Oh, mate. This is probably one of the most intense things I've seen as an England fan, and I've seen intense things. <sighs> I'm shaking and I support Germany. Come on, England, says Mr. Ishu. Everything has been going England's way so far this tournament. Things were bound to go sideways sooner or sooner or later, says King Lace. Cross into the box. That will be penalties, I think. It's gone out for a goal kick. This is this is the, probably the worst thing ever. You know, if somebody rung me up now and said you can have a penalty shootout or you can go down in a, a, ta a tank with great white sharks, I'd think about it. And I hate I hate sharks. The trouble is, I've been here so many times. I've been here so many times. I've been, I've been here so... But I've never been here. 
I've never been in here. I've never been here, actually. I tell a lie. I've never been in a final to win. I mean, it just makes me want to throw up. I've never been in a final to win a penalty shootout. It's just, it's sickening. Absolutely sickening. And Donnarumma will be loving this. I, I, I said before the game. That it's penalties. This is, this is just, this is just, nah, nah. This is just no. I don't know whether to stand or sit. I don't think I can sit. I don't think I can sit for this. I need to move the chair. I don't think I can sit down for this. This is just, I'm going to sit for a little bit and then I'm going to stand up. I don't, I just don't, uh, I can't deal with it. It's, uh, it's just not good. It, it just comes down to stopping the clock, definitely. It comes down to... I don't even know what this comes down to now. It comes down to... I put Italy as favourites in the penalties because I think Donnarumma's a fantastic goalkeeper. Um, I think we're underdogs now. I do. I think we are underdogs. I mean, Pickford's just not as big as Donnarumma. Uh, Jorginho will definitely score a penalty as well. Look at the look at the Paddy Park there. They're uh, they're all terrified. I mean, the, the horrible thing about a penalty shootout, the horrible thing about a penalty shootout is that you're literally ten minutes away from England doing something they've never done before in the biggest party you've ever had, or you're ten minutes away from the biggest anti climax you've ever had, and and that's just what it's. No, I'm all right, thanks. But, you know, that's what it comes down to, isn't it? It's coming home or it's coming Rome. It's as simple as that. Um, you can't... You can't put it... Um, but I'd put Italy at favourites now. I just did a, I just did a cork pop then for the party, but uh, you might have to recork it because uh, oh my Christ! Um, well, I don't like this. I don't think it's the I don't think it's the right way for a tournament to be won or lost. I don't. I think you can be a villain, but you're never a villain. You know, Southgate, Pierce, Waddle, you're not a villain. You're just the unfortunate person who misses. Um, it's a game of football. It's not a game of penalties. But these are the rules that we've seen in international football years. After, I mean, England, you know, United. United. And what I would say is if we do lose it, I will always feel that Kane or Sterling should have come off. We should have actually made that change and we didn't do it. So we we didn't, we didn't, you know, he. it will always be that. Harry Kane's got to score a penalty. Raheem Sterling's got to score a penalty. If those two score, they justify being kept on the pitch. But I think they should have come off. I don't think Harry Kane had a good game. I think we kept him on because he's the captain. He's got to score. I think Raheem Sterling was better than Kane. But one of those two players needed to come off for me. Five out of the six of the last major penalties have been won by first shooters or the team that shoots first, says Mr. Esho. Yeah, mate, I'm not, I'm not listening to anything of that. I know it's, I know it's important, but... I, I would imagine England could uh, could bottle that up as well. Um, I don't think we're going to win just because we take the penalty first. Uh, Craig says, I'm thinking of you. Mate, this is horrible. This is not nice. Um, they are favourites now. Italy are favourites now. I'm not going to move away from that. I've been confident that England would win it, but I said England would win it in, in normal time. Um, I didn't want penalties. I can't predict on penalties. Uh, I didn't think we'd beat Colombia, though. I didn't think we would beat Colombia in three three years ago. When it comes to penalties, I've seen it. My heart is ready to sink. That that's how I feel about penalties. I can't. I'm not. I'm not negative. That's just. That's just how I feel. Um, Donnarumma is bloody the BFG. He's massive. Jordan, it's like, look at this, look at this, look at this. Donnarumma and Pickford next to each other. That's like, 
the, that's like Bilbo Baggins standing next to Hagrid from from uh, Harry Potter. He's absolutely massive. He's absolutely massive. I've got rid of the chair because I'm going to have to need. I'm, I'm going to need to be uh, all over the shop here. I really am. Oh, come on. <sighs> oh my God. I will be live on Twitch later. I will have a match reaction as well. All those things will happen, of course. I just can't believe it's come down to this. I can't believe it's come down to this. Penalty shootout. It makes you want to throw right up. It's horrible. It's absolutely horrible. Please subscribe, by the way, bottom right-hand corner. So Italy are going first. So if you believe what you believe about penalties that if you go first then you win Italy are going first and I would put Italy as favourites for this now anyway just because of Donnarumma if I'm an English penalty taker I'm going high Donnarumma's tall it's hard to save a penalty if you put it in the top corner but Ardy's going first for Italy Pickford looks very small Donnarumma looks fucking massive Berardi goes first for Italy and scores comfortably. Easy, easy work. Easy work for Berardi. I just don't, I just, bat, Pickford doesn't fill me with confidence on penalties. Uh, here's Harry Kane. Now, Harry Kane's on this pitch. For one reason and one reason only, because he's the captain. He has got to score this. If we've kept Harry Kane on to miss a penalty, I'm sorry, he's got it, he's got it wrong. So he's got to score this. Harry Kane's got to score. He's had a bad game. He's on there as the captain. He's got to score this penalty. <sighs> oh, it's a good one. It's a good one. Donnarumma goes the right way, but that's a good penalty by Harry Kane. 1-1. One, one. That's a good penalty. That's a good start. Well done, Harry. Donnarumma's big, but he ain't that big. 1-1. One, one. The problem is, with Italy, is that they will... Jorginho will score. He will score, Jorginho. Bellotti. Up he steps. Miss Bellotti. I, I used to like you, Bellotti. I know you played... I know United were looking at you. Come on, Bellotti. That's quite a straight run-up by Bellotti. No, he's moved it. Get in! Get in! Pickford saves! Come on! Come on! Long way to go. You've got to score the next penalty. You've got to score the next penalty. When somebody misses, you've got to score. You have to score the next penalty. This happened before. I can't remember when it was. It happened before. I think it was Ince missed after. Oh, my Harry Maguire. Why have we brought Rashford on? Why have we brought Sancho on? Why is Sterling there? Why is Harry Maguire taking a penalty? Why did we bring him on? Oh, my God. Harry, please, no. Please score, Harry. Oh, well, I don't know. I don't understand. Yes! Get in! Oh, that's the best of the lot! Pierce vibes! Pierce vibes! Get in! Get in! I'll tell you what. Oh, my life. That's balls. That's balls of steel, that is. That is balls of steel. I I mean, that's from Southgate and Harry. I, I To me, I'm like... Kane, Rashford, Sancho, Sterling, Grealish. You know, you've got... That's your takers. Harry Maguire's in there. One of them, I don't know. <sighs> Benucci, another defender. <sighs> if we can save another. If we can save another. Benucci. Oh, he's so close. He's so close, Pickford. So close. 
Oh, you've got to keep scoring, mate. You've got to keep scoring. Oh, man. It's like being 1-0 up, though, isn't it? It's like being 1-0 up. We're 1-0 up, but as soon as we miss, the momentum goes again. Rashford, basically his only kick of the game. Come on, Marcus. Now, Marcus is a bit of a Jorginho. He's a bit of a Jorginho. Normally, he will stop and wait and see what the keeper's doing. He has a big run up and he'll have a look at Donnarumma. It's all about the techers, Marcus. It's all about the techers. Here we go. The run up. Oh, he's missed the whole fucking goal. Fucking hell. Oh, Marcus, that is absolute shit, mate. Come on. As penalties go, that is terrible. That is absolutely terrible. Oh, Marcus, no. And now the momentum swings. Now the momentum swings because we've just given up the we've just given up the initiative again. If we don't win this game, we can't complain. We were one 0 up. We defended a bad cross. We were one 0 up on penalties, and we've missed. We've, we've you know we've given up the momentum. Come on, Jordan. He's having a good penalty shootout. Do it again, Bernadeschi. Straight down the fucking middle. I tell you what, it's slipping away. It's slipping away. It's slipping away here. We could have won this game. We could have won this game. Their penalties have not been good. And you know what? We've got to score two because Jorginho doesn't miss. So we've now got to score our last two penalties. I think the momentum's gone here, everybody. I do. I think the, I think the momentum's gone because Jorginho doesn't miss. So we've got to score our two last penalties just to take it to sudden death. We fucked it. I think we fucked it. I think we fucked it. And I think the crowd knows it, and I think you know it. I think we fucked this. Sancho misses. It's over. It's fucking over. They've done it. They fucking lost it. Bottle jobs. Bottled it. Bottled it. Jorginho to win it for Italy. He's never going to miss. He's never going to miss, I'm afraid. Bring the chair back. It's time to sit down. England hopes the time. It's time to sit down. It's over. Jorginho doesn't miss. Shouldn't even be on the pitch, but look, whatever. It's over. Well, this is what it's like to be English. This is what it means. This is what happens. We, we get into opportunities and we blow it. <laughs> I can't believe it. 1-0 up, we bottle it from a crap cross. And then on penalties, we've got it there to win. He saved it! Oh! Oh, my life! Jorginho misses! Wow, we're back in the game! We're back in the game! Come on, for how long? I don't know, but we're back in the game! We're back in the game. Jorginho misses. What a save by Jordan Pickford that is. I tell you what, he's done his job. He has done his job. Um, I don't know now. Oh no, we've got a score. If he misses, we've lost. I didn't realise that. Saka's got a score or we've lost. I didn't realise that. I'm, I'm all over the place. I thought if we scored, we'd won it. Oh. Saka. Oh, fucking hell. You're having a fucking laugh, lads. Three penalties in a fucking row. You twat. How do you miss three penalties in a fucking row? Joke. Absolute joke. You absolute bottle jobs. Three penalties in a row. Oh, my Christ. Pickford saved two. Two. I can't believe three penalties in a row we miss. Fucking get out. Give the trophy to Italy. Well done. 
Well done to Italy. You fucking deserve it. You absolutely deserve it. Let me get this tweet out. Well done to Italy. Bloody hell. Missed three penalties in a row. You deserve nothing. Look, people will say it's harsh. It's not harsh. We we know it's going to go to penalties. I, I can't. That is one of the worst penalty shootouts I've ever seen. I've never seen a penalty shootout as bad as that. Pickford saved two penalties. He saved from fucking Jorginho. He saved from Jorginho. Like, the game's over. When Jorginho takes that penalty, it's over. It's already over. He pulls off a world-class save and then we miss the next one again. We've just missed three penalties in a row out of five. That is unforgivable. I'm sorry. This is high-end sport. We can all start crying. I ain't crying. I'm not crying. Like, I'm sorry. I'm not crying. In Italia 90, I was upset. In 96, I was upset. upset. That's a joke, mate. That is a joke. I don't feel sorry for us. I applaud Italy. Well done. This is high-end sport. They deserve the win. They were the better team overnight, over the full game. And the penalties were shit. That's not a crying performance. I mean, correct me if I'm wrong. That's not a crying performance. That is just bottle jobs. It is. I'm not, and I'm not going to talk about individuals. That's not what it's about. But from top to bottom, we got that wrong tonight. We got that wrong tonight. And I don't feel sorry. I, 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 I don't feel sorry for the players. That's that's high end sport. You collect. Look, it's not Saka's fault. It's not Sancho's fault. It's not Rashford's fault. They all missed. They're not individuals. It was Southgate in '96. It was Pearson Waddle in '90. It's been Batty. It's been Ince. It's been lots of players over the years. But those penalties are shit. They're all at the wrong angle. Sancho's was poor. Saka's was poor. Rashford's was poor. It's just, it's just, it is what it is. It is what it is. Well done to Italy. Cheers. Because we didn't deserve to win it. The party is over, I'm afraid. We lost. End of the, end, end of the story. It's over. <laughs> can't say anything about it. I can't, I know, I take, can I just say as well, when, we, when we're handing out compliments and sympathy, Jordan Pickford... Jordan Pickford deserves huge credit. That that save from Jorginho is is world class. Disappointing. Um, oh. I mean, I mean, look, it's, it's, you, you've got to, you've got to, you've got to, you've just got to take it. This is sport. You've got to take it. That's this is this happens at the end of the day. You've got to sit there and take it. A penalty shootout is always Russian roulette. Um, um, I mean, I've, I've just had a quick look on social media there and there's people saying, well, we shouldn't have picked Rashford. We shouldn't have picked Sancho. Um, we shouldn't have brought them on. I think the hard thing for me is I almost think why is Jack Grealish not taking a penalty? Why is Raheem Sterling not taking a penalty? Why are we subbing people on with no games? I mean, Rashford's on a hiding to nothing, isn't he? Rashford is on a hiding to nothing. Subbing Sancho and Rashford on with no game time is... is, is, is they're on a hiding to nothing. They score and everyone goes, that was good. Um, but look, I think the good thing is that 
the great the great thing is that Saka, Sancho, and and Rashford missed. You can't individualize it. It's impossible. And I suppose that's the posi- that's the positive. There is no scapegoat. Um, I don't really feel in the situation that I, I feel like crying about it, to be honest, because I just feel that that is one of the most embarrassing penalty shootouts I've seen in my life. Uh, the keeper was absolutely amazing. I, I will never forget Pickford's save from Jorginho. It was heroic. Nobody saves from Jorginho. That save deserved to win as the thing. But if people can't score the penalties, you know, there's, there's nothing heroic about that penalty shootout for me. Nothing's heroic. It's... Well, it is. Pickford's heroic. Maguire was heroic. But we missed three out of five. You're not going to win a penalty shootout if you miss three out of five. No matter how good your goalkeeper does, you can't do it. At the end of the day, Donnarumma saved two and Pickford saved two. Rashford missed the goal completely. And Pickford got close to every single one. He nearly saved two others. So Pickford doesn't deserve to lose that. Pickford's the hero for me. But... What are we doing? What what were we thinking? You know, Rashford misses the whole goal. Sancho's penalty is terrible, but we brought them on to take penalties. Um, Saka's penalty was terrible. He's a young lad. I don't know. You know, but the trouble is with penalties, people will want to scapegoat. And, and it's very, very harsh. Um, but at least the blame is uh, is shared. And look, you know what? On any other situation, I would look at that and I would say, well done to Italy. And I know I will, I will say well done to Italy, but on any other situation, I'd be really pleased for them. But I tell you what, I've got to say this from the bottom of my heart. It never felt right. It didn't. I thought we were going to win it, but it never felt right. It never felt right. It never felt like Italia 90. It never felt like 2002 World Cup. It never felt like Euro 96. And I think that's the learning curve. I thought we would win, but... Um, it never felt right. It, it, never felt, it never felt like a vintage England performance. It never did uh, across the whole tournament. And I think we've done... Remarkably well to get to the final and look, you're a penalty shootout away from winning it. But no one remembers, no one remembers the losers. Um, and Italy have won that tournament in the way that, that, that tournaments do get won. It's not the first time somebody's won it on penalties and they totally deserve it. Um, that, yeah, there will be. Look, I, would imp- I don't think anybody who watches this channel d- would do this. But anybody who targets Saka or or Rashford, or Sancho, and anybody who does it in a racist way, you know, they're a disgrace. So I don't want to see anything like that. But ultimately, um, it's look, I mean, look, Italian players are crying, and, and it's a massive, massive result for them. Well done. Uh, from an English point of view, I, I just I, I just don't feel, and I, I tell you what, maybe I'm bitter, and maybe I'm old, and maybe I'm just, you know, pragmatic about it, but... I don't think they're heroes. I don't. I don't feel like 90. I don't feel like 96. I think that penalty shootout was a was a shambles. I don't think there's anything heroic about losing that penalty shootout. I think actually, if you're somebody who wanted England to lose, Italian, French, Irish, Welsh, you're going to love it because that was actually an embarrassment. That penalty shootout was an embarrassment. And for me, I'm not actually sat here going... Look, when Southgate missed, it was like, oh, sudden death. When Pierce and Waddle missed in 90, it was like, oh, you know, I didn't, you know, we could, I don't, I don't feel that. I don't think, I think we played well first half. We played badly second half. We weren't much better in extra time and then the penalties were shit. We were hanging in there to nick a game, weren't we? For the first half, we could have won it. But a game is 90 minutes. It's not 45 minutes. So, you know, I, I can't, I can't. I, I don't feel any, I don't feel numb. I don't feel upset. I just feel a little bit unemotional about it. I don't feel cheated. I don't feel robbed. I don't feel 
emotional because I think Italy were the better team in the second half and in extra time and on penalties. If it was a 45-minute game, we would have won that game. But you know what the hardest thing is? The hardest thing is, not that it's going Rome, it's going Rome. The hardest thing is, we won the game twice. We won the game in the first half and we bottled it on that cross. And we won the game in penalties when they missed first and we bottled it. Um, so, And that's the hardest thing for me um, in that sense. But look, it is the dream is over. That's what it is. Um, and we just have to take it. That's just the way it's going to roll. Um, um, just shit. Just shit. Yeah, exactly. Mrs. Goldbridge ain't happy. Um, yeah, just, just, just shit. Just absolute embarrassment on penalties. Um, you just, yeah. I, I, I don't think this is gonna. This is not gonna be a loss that haunts me for a long time. Where uh, we, we've bottled it, we really have. Look, I'm gonna be live on Twitch probably at about midnight because I won't shirk this. This is not how it works. You don't, you don't walk away from these sort of things. You know, I was gonna be doing a Twitch party if we'd won, so I will be doing a Twitch chat even though we've lost. So if you want to join me on Twitch, Goldbridge TV, I'll be tweeting it out probably about quarter to midnight, midnight that sort of time. Um, so you can join me on that and gloat and everything if you want to and digest it. I mean, there is a little bit to digest, of course. So catch me on that um, and I'll speak to you in a little bit. But look, enjoy it. I ain't going to watch Italy win a trophy. It's, that's not what I do. I don't sit there and watch rivals win it. Well done. Um, but England bottled it. Absolutely bottled it. Well done to Italy. Look, I'm 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 big enough. I, you ain't going to rumble me. I'll be there on Twitch at midnight and... Uh, I will, uh, that's what you get for playing for penalties, says Tyler. Looks even worse that his two penalty subs both missed. I love Southgate, but this defeat is all on him, says Tyler. Well, look, I'll go through that at midnight. There's absolutely loads we can talk about about that. But uh, thanks everyone for watching. I'll speak to you all in a bit and join me on Twitch around midnight where we'll face up.